Hello, guys. Welcome to Wallace and Gromit. Now, this is a um, episodic game, so it's got multiple episodes. So, I mean, this the first episode is called Flight of the Mama Bees, but the whole thing, the whole, you know, game, is called Wallace and Gromit Grand Adventures. Uh, but this is made by Telltale Games. Uh, I'm excited to play this. I've never played it before, so I'm going in brand new. Uh, let's get started. If you like Wallace and Gromit, you'll enjoy this. I love Wallace and Gromit. Oh, okay. Uh, now let's just start the game. All right. Let's get started. Woo! I'm excited. I am so excited to play this. This will be my first Tattoo game to play on the channel. It's an ugly bee. From B to you. Robot rodents. Robot rodents. What? Fright of the Rumblebees. Breakfast time, Gromit. Okay. Hmm. Cheese, Grandma. It, it's my time today, Grandma. Oh! Oh, they didn't have his iconic screen. Another perfect landing. Your turn to make breakfast, Grommet. Eggs, I think, and toast with honey today. Step to it, lad. I'm famished. It's always Grumman's turn. We never get to see what Grumman's turn looks like. No, 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 not his turn, but like Wallace's turn. Okay, so what he said? He said he want. Oh, that's a mail. Well, what did the postman bring us then? Any orders? Hand it over, lad. In a minute. In a minute. Let me get the breakfast going. He said he left a note on the refrigerator, right? Yeah, what was it? Uh, eggs, toast, and honey. Okay. Well, we saw the honey in the other room. What in the world is this? Well, hang on. Let's check the refrigerator. Ooh. Yabba wabba. Only the butter today. Close it up. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Huh. Huh, okay. Looks like it's missing some kind of... I don't know, some kind of... thing to make the egg go over here. Uh, okay. Well, eggs might have to wait. What about the toast? I see a toaster. Oh, buns. Okay. Oh. Hey, what? What? Might want to close the window. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Is that doo doo? What is that? What? Is oh, it's a footprint. Oh, like shit. Okay. Well, he took the bread. He's gonna do it again, ain't he? Okay, he's stepping on that thing.
Okay, maybe we can like... Maybe we can like... Hold on. Nothing. Maybe we can like... Can we go out and get it back? Walkies can wait, Gromit. I need me breakfast. Okay. What's in the, clo the closet? It, what's the, what? Crackers! Okay. Now we can use the, okay. Uh, what do we got in our inventory? Oh, we're gonna make him slip on it. <laughs> make him slip on it and break his fucking neck. See, let's try it again. Let's see how this works out. There he is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he broke his neck. Oh my god. That squirrel moved quick. Well, we got the toast. Toast is done. Honey. Honey is in here. That was like an intro on the game. Did you bring the mail, Gromit? Oh yeah, here. Quick grow muscle. Oh man, oh no. Final demand. I oh, don't know. This payment due now. And a disconnection. Nothing but bills, Gromit. I can't look at these before I have my breakfast. If we don't find some steady customers soon. I don't know how we'll make ends meet. Oh, all right then. I'll open one, but just the one. Okay. Hmm. Seems your subscription to Marrow Growers Monthly is up for renewal. Might have to cancel. Don't it. suppose you'd consider canceling? So not. <laughs> oh, better pay up then. Now, where did I put my pen? Ah, oh, yes. What? Oh my god. Oh, that for the pen. <laughs> yeah, but now you got this thing in the way. It's okay. That's the same contraption. That's the same thing. Hold on. Can I take that? Yes, I can. That dog is getting a little too independent. Hold on. You ask me. I'll give it back. Oh, here's the honey. Huh? My phone going off. What's going on? Where's my phone? I don't know, but it's making all that noise. What? Looking for a missing man. Sorry about that, guys. I had like a public alert on my phone about some some man went missing or something. Got me. Some mental illness guy. Uh, I'm not a bounty hunter, so. Honey pipe directly from the source. Everyone in town will want their own honey tap when word gets out. Uh huh. Uh. How do I. Well, hold on. Let me go. Let me try out this little thing I got. Look like tongs. Let me go back and see if the egg thing will work now. Okay. Oh, I forgot to pull that down. Go to my inventory. Nice. Thank you. Time for some eggs. Whoa. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, what's this? Tap bash. Okay. It might work now. Hold on. It's probably going to tap it in and it'll go in that time. Why is it like that? Is it only for eggs? If it's only for eggs, then why you got like a bash thing?
Okay. <laughs> Silly contraptions, okay. <laughs> Alright, we got the eggs. Nice, in the game save. Thank you. Oh, hey. Hi, old Wallace. My dear here. Sorry to That's a shop message, owner. but it's about that incident in the shop. That flicking mechanical mouse of yours has put me in a right pickle. How could it may be a sniffer 3000 with advanced cheese tracking capabilities, but it chewed through all me fancy tail and me red blister too. Now I know we've always been on good terms, but this morning I find myself <laughs> not inconsiderably discombobulated. And I can't let it happen again, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to say that with the deepest regret and following police advice, you and your blinking contraptions are banned from my establishment oh. until further notice. We're just trying to help. Hey, Wallace. You know you're banished from that guy's shop. The black guy. Hey, I got Still your. No breakfast. I got your I'm stuff. Beginning to suspect foul play. There ain't no foul play going on here. Here's your toast. To return. My compliments to the chef. But I'm still waiting for the eggs and honey. Hang on, I'm gonna give it to you. Honey, how sweet of you, Gromit. <laughs> Uh -huh. But I'm still one egg short of a breakfast. And here it is. Now Black eat it and shut eggs, up. Chuck. Now that's what I call a breakfast feast. Wasn't so difficult, was it, lad? With a hearty plate of eggs and toast under me belt, I'm ready to take on the world. Gromit? I have a strange feeling. Oh my this god. Day, our fortunes are going to change. Morning, Wallace. May I have a word? Um, if it's about yesterday's uh, um, little mishap. Oh no, you see. I can assure you it, it was an accident, Mr. Penny. And I'll certainly pay for the damage to your grocery shop. I was just putting the Sniffer 3000 through its paces. It's still only a prototype, you know. Oh, I realize that, Mr. Wallace. And what better place to test out a cheese detector than in a shop with such an excellent selection of cheeses? Happen. But you'll still have to pay for the damage, I'm afraid. Yes, of course. I'll put it all right. Though funds are... how can I put this? A little tight at the moment. Only until our new business is up and running. Aye, well, that's what I'm here to talk about. I understand you and Gromit are in the honey business now. Fresh deliveries daily, from B to you. <laughs> ah, well, perhaps I can help you get on your feet. Really? I'm having the annual sounding of the Crumpets Festival, and I'm clean out of honey. Can you deliver 50 gallons? 50 gallons? By tonight? Tonight? Oof. It'll more than cancel your debt. And it'll be good advertising for you. What do you say? I say... Yes. I say yes! We're in business, lad. Don't worry, Grandma. We can do it. Heads up, no time for slacking. From B to you has landed its first major order. 50 gallons of honey by tomorrow. I want this place to be a hive of activity. It's your chance to show the world what sort of workers you are. They're certainly buzzing with excitement. Or maybe they're hungry. Did you remember to feed them this morning, Gromit? I was feeding you! Never mind, lad. I'll do it. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. What's this? Mm. What are you working on? 
That looked like blue from Blue's Clues. <laughs> okay. You got like a pen or something? What's in your inventory? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. The remote control for my Sniffer 3000. Too bad about the teasing problems. Still, this might come in handy. Okay. Let's give him the flowers then. Uh, bon appetit. Oh. Oh my mm. god. Not exactly a flood, is it? We might be in trouble. Hmm. Flowers, Gromit. That's the weak link in our production chain. We need more flowers. Time to go outside then. Hang on, is there anything else in the room? There's the hatch from me rocket ship. Remember that moon holiday, Gromit? Yeah. I remember that. That's the first movie. My workers are very devoted to their queen. Can we go into the the, the hive? Hmm. Place could use a good spring cleaning. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I want to go back upstairs. Well, go upstairs. Is there anything up there? Oh, we can only go in Wallace room. Okay. Uh Tennis racket. That's the racket Gromit used when he took the cup at the Brambleton Open, K9 Division. Why is it in your room? That's the racket Gromit used when he took the cup at the... I can't pick it up? Okay. Mm, last night's bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. Crazy. <sighs> Time for a nap. No, don't no, go... Better not. No, don't take a nap. Let's see here. Okay, we got the record player. Oh my god, no. Phew. That'll put me right to sleep. I need I need one of those then. Uh I need something to knock me out quick. If I need to go to bed. Oh, box has been a boon for Gromit. No matter where he is in the house, he's never far from his master's voice. Yeah, that's because you got it everywhere in the house. Alright, I think that's all in here that I can take the cheese. Oh? Heh <laughs> trap door. Oh? Alright, let's go downstairs. Can we go in the living room? The living room door's stuck. Oh, right. It's a storage room now. What? Okay. Go in the kitchen. Is there anything we can take in here? Ah. Uh. A nice cup of strongium tea ought to spark up the old grey matter. Hey! What the? Bring that back, you thieving rascal. Okay, I'm just looking around to see what kind of stuff I can add to my inventory, so just in case I need it. Uh, I can always... Basement door is open. Awfully long drop. What? Okay. We need flowers. So, where can we find some flowers? Outside. Oh, in the neighbor's yard. 
been hey, doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flit? Working my green fingers to the bone. But the hard work appears to be paying off. Indeed it Very does. beautiful. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. It certainly looks delicious. I mean, I imagine it would look delicious <laughs> if you were an insect. You mean, if I were a bee? Well, now you mention it. You want to feed my flowers to your bees? That is, if you don't mind. How many would you like? As many as you can spare. Oh, you can oh have my God. all you want, Mr. Wallace. Oh, much obliged, Miss Flit. Here, you can jolly well grow your own. Uh, right-ho. Turn my phone off. Oh, that was very nice of her. She gave us some seeds. Okay, is there anything in the yard that we can take? That flower hasn't bloomed yet. I know it hasn't, the lazy thing. Oh, but the way will be worth it. Oh? This flower will be the piece de resistance of my purple paradise. And the scent. Absolutely heavenly. I'm simply mad about the purple pansy. I like your yard. It's very beautiful. I hadn't noticed those flowers before. I shouldn't wonder. They're morning glories. And they're usually tucked up in bed by the time you emerge from your underground lair. Their scent is divine. Attracts a lot of bees, I suppose. Swarms of them. But I don't let them linger. Okay. That's a healthy looking, uh, what do you call it? Foxglove. If you want to grow them, you've got to know them. Such a fragrant bouquet. <clears throat> okay. I'll leave her alone. No flowers in here. So, we got some seeds. I guess we can plant them right now. That's gonna take a while to grow all this, and we need the we need the honey tonight. Uh, but hey, whatever works. You gotta dig a hole first, Wallace. There now, with hard work and a little luck, you should have a nice bed of flowers in two or three months. I can't wait two or three months. I've got a deadline. <laughs> then it don't grow today. You're a simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. I wonder. Be pretty cool if it Rex could. Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. If it works on people, perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Eh. Uh. Miracle ingredients. Grow team. Energize. Strongium. Well. I need a miracle, and fast. It shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who's got the grandest garden in West Wallaby Street. The hive will be humming in no time. I don't know, Wallace. Okay, we're leaving. What do we need? Let Can I me see. What was I looking for again? Routine, Energides, Strongium. Not such a long list, really. What are we gonna find that? Maybe he got some. <laughs> Caught you! Can't take an old soldier by surprise! Are you okay? Morning, Major Crumb. It is, if you don't mind enemy invasions. I beg your pardon. Didn't you get my message? Would you like Received some cheese? Intelligence of a major air assault. Expect the sirens to sound any minute. Hope you know where your dearest air raid shelter is. I do recall something about that, but Major Crumb, are you sure you're not mistaken? 
I know, I know I've made predictions before, but I'm not trying wolf. This time, I've got proof. What is that? The jar. It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Does it? A snail? I can only see a snail. Of course it's a snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what? What is she trying to tell us? Look at her, man. She's retreated into her shell in the middle of the day. And that means only one thing. It means she knows trouble is about to strike from the heavens. Law of nature, Wallace. Loaded in France during the war. Never wrong yet. Yeah, I lost your goddamn uh... Good man, Wallace. I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation. Now, spread the word. If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to a snail. Where'd you get those badges, huh? You're looking at my case, aren't you, Wallace? Well, I suppose I was, Major. Get those badges from Walmart. To know what's inside. I am curious, yes. Ah, this case is packed full of government issue protein bars. Oh, protein. we need that. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for emergencies, obviously. It's an emergency. Stock piling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. Huh. I'll come back to you later. Okay, wow. There's the man ah, we need Mr. to... Mr. Wallace! Hey! Mr. Wallace, I've got something for you. Much obliged. Aren't you gonna tell me what it is? It's a town map, okay. Alright, I'm guessing I can that fast travel. Like, can it really be cheese? Indeed it is, Wallace. Vensleydale, your favorite? And am I to take it that these are yes, free samples? Go on, duck in. I don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. And one for later. <laughs> okay. Suppose I only take one. Forget Mr. Wallace. Fifth. Fifth? <laughs> don't forget, Mr. Wallace. Fifth? Fifth. Okay. What's that say? Hold up. Oh, I can't look at it. Pity it's closed. Oh, I could murder a sausage roll for two. They look like they only sell muffins. But okay. Go to a cake. Oh, it says pies. Well, go to like some kind of. Bakery and you uh. want meat? Uh we need water for the uh flowers. If that watering can that I saw don't have any water, we can come back and fill up. Be interested in subscribing to my honey service. No, no sense in looking for new orders when I haven't fulfilled the first. Okay. Morning post. Hey, old Wallace, love. How's business? I just gonna ask her. So, Wallace, in the honey business now, I hear. Oh, you've heard the buzz, have you? <laughs> oh, oh, indeed I have. It's all over town. It'll never get off the ground. Stupid idea, if you ask me. And nobody did! Couldn't get honey out of a honey jar, that one! 
Excuse my husband. He's a right misery gut sometimes. Would you like a new husband? What's that button do? Uh oh. Hey, it's not closing time yet. Uh oh. I could do that to you and try and steal the newspaper. She's pissed. <laughs> Calm down, honey. Have some cheese. If it isn't Wallace, I had a notion he'd be nosing round the police station this morning. Uh, mo morning, Constable Dibbins. You're off to an early start today. Not planning any more visits to the shops, are you? Oh, no. Oh. Yesterday was a one-off. I'm in town on business. Is that so? That's right. My poor Sniffer 3000. I only just put the finishing touches on it yesterday, and it's already fallen afoul of the law. A clue, a clue! Where, where, where? Right there! Oh, oh! I, I, I noticed you received my petition for early release of the Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins. Yes. And I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only appealing for natural justice. But your blinking cheese detector thing of me, what do you call it, destroyed an entire grocery store. Uh, it was an accident. problems. It's still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. A diabolical device. You can see that in its face. My machine isn't evil, Constable Dibbins. It's just got a short fuse and a few loose nuts. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to formally interview this glorified tin can of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody. You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Are you an idiot? Fear not, my little cheese sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. What? Are you stupid? I got some cheese. Oops. Missed. What? I already did that. You don't want to do that again. Ah. If that's his attitude, he can rot in jail as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Wait a second. Hang on. I was just testing something out. We've had our little chat, and I'm afraid there's no talking to your sniffer. Go back in there and talk I'm to him again. I'm wired for criminality, I'd say. Do you know anything about snails, Mrs. Gabberly? Uh, I know they eat them in continental parts. Well, yes, but do you think there's anything special about this one? To be honest, I couldn't rightly tell. Okay. Bear with me for a moment, Mr. Paneer. Major Crumb wanted me to show you this. That's a snail, Mr. Wallace. I know. Why are you showing me a snail? Well, it's in its shell, you see. And according to Major Crumb, when a snail goes into its shell during the day, it means we can expect untold airborne activity of an unpleasant nature. Go home, Wallace, and get some rest. Reckon you've been overdoing the inventing? May I show you something, Constable Dibbins? Is it important? It might Maybe. be. <laughs> That's a snail, Wallace. Do you notice anything <laughs> peculiar about it? Only the person what's holding it. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Get the watering can. Hmm. Water's all right, but growth formula would be faster. What a 
are you on about? Hey, that's that squirrel. Oh, come back here, you thieving rascal. That's my tea bag. I won't have you threatening that dear little creature. Not while he's in my garden. You've come buzzing back, Mr. Wallace. He's got my... As a bee to a blossom, eh? Look at this now. I realise this may seem a trifle irregular, but Major Crumb insisted I show you this. It's... Uh, uh, oh. A snail? In my garden? Oh my god. Uh, I'm not <laughs> sure, to be honest. <laughs> Our yell sounded like a siren, which made that old man go off and run into my house. Hey, now that he's gone, I can get a suitcase. <laughs> Paula went in there and Grandma was like, What the? What are you doing back here? What? Oh. The sky is blue, and still it rains on yours truly. <laughs> okay. Wallace, thank heavens you made it to the shelter. I'd given you up for lost. Caught in the crossfire, were you? Where's your suitcase? What's the news from above, citizen? Chaos and destruction? Ah. Uh. Pardon me, Major. About those groating bars of yours. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for emergencies, obviously. Beat stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high-strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. By George, this is an emergency! Private Grubbit! I hereby issue you one protein bar. Guard it well, and see that it lasts you all day. Wallace, here's one for you as well. Much obliged. All right. Can I switch to Gromit? Gromit, old chum. Slip me that protein bar Major Crumb gave you. You do no such thing, Private Gromit. I gave you your protein bar for the day, Wallace. I won't have you catching another from the enlisted men. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I got some flowers. What happened to the flowers? I thought she gave me some flowers. Did she not? Oh, yeah, that's right. She gave me the seeds. Ah. Wait! What? Careful, Wallace. You are heading into hostile territory. The enemy has clearly landed and most likely set up camp in West Wallaby Street. Who knows what the blighters have done to our once peaceful neighborhood? If you make it back alive, you'll have to give us a full report. In the meantime, eat your protein rations. The protein will keep your strength up, especially if you're captured. Brave lad! We'll keep the home fires burning. Oh my god. So that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Gromit will be glad to get them back. Huh. Let's show him the doll tags. Hold up. You see, Private Grummit? I told you he'd make it back to us alive. Our Wallace is a fighter. Bagged a few of those blighters, did you? I found some doll tags. That's not the real Grummit. I found these in the hall, Major Dog Tags! I've been recommissioned! 
bound to happen, of course. Can't leave good military material sitting on the shelf. My place is in the trenches. You've got to get your mind off the carnage up there. Would you like to hear one of my old war stories? Might help pass the time? No. Well, I hate to... Ah, uh, oh, of course you would. I brought visual aids. I can still see it after all the <coughs> What a face. That's me kitted out for heavy combat. <laughs> that helmet took many a dent before the war was through. Without it, I could have become seriously loopy. Take my advice, Wallace. Never go into battle without a regulation helmet like the one in this picture. Anyway, I was peeling the <clears throat> Who's that fellow? That's me as a young recruit. Off to basic training. How I cried when they cut off my golden curls. But I cheered up as soon as they issued me with a beautiful set of dog tags. Dashed useful dog tags. If you happen to forget your rank or... Nay, you've got it right there. Never go into battle without your dog tags, Wallace. As I said, I was marching along. Uh, uh, now there's a sight. That's me posing with mother next to my 40 millimeter bofers. Look at the size of that <laughs> monster. Big Betty, we called her. <laughs> Again, <not the> Sounds <laughs> like you were quite a soldier, Major Crumb. Well, Wallace, why the past tense? Uh, oh dear. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Something you civilians will never grasp. And I'd be happy to prove it by charging into the fray. That is, if I had my dog tags, which I have, but I'd need a regulation helmet, a sturdy brass one, like I had in the war, and I'd have to find someone to take charge of this shelter and distribute the protein bars. You need a helmet, huh? Hey, it's the wrong trousers. Or trazomatic, or whatever you call it. Okay. Could those be? Uh, I couldn't help but notice the flowers on your window ledge, Mrs. Gabberly. Ah, lovely, aren't they? Bring a touch of summer to the town square. Especially the purple pansies, always been partial to pansies, me. You should see the flat. It's full of them. Ah, blinking weeds, if you ask me. Can't abide them. Oh, go and suck a lemon, you moaning ninny. Ah. Oh, no, ah. what you've done, you clumsy old. And <laughs> open up that window when I'm yelling at you. <laughs> Your insults don't get to me anymore. <laughs> I can deflect them all. Is that so? <laughs> oh my god. How did it not break? <laughs> oh my god, I love them. I'd be happy to take these flowers off your hands, Mrs. Gabberly. That is, if they make your husband unhappy. That's a good reason to keep them to my way of thinking. But go ahead if you want them. Much obliged. <laughs> Here you are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. Yeah. Oh. What are you looking for exactly? What? Back again, Mr. Wallace? What? I'm flattered. Your titties caught it. Uh. You like some cheese? No? Okay. Um. You got a bug on you. Uh, I wonder, Miss Flit, if you would be so kind as to, uh, hand me that tea bag. Tea bag, Mr. Wallace? What tea bag? The one on your, um, uh, ooh. Are you feeling? 
feeling quite well, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> One more? You've already had two, Mr. Wallace. I just... just can't control myself where <laughs> cheese is involved. May I? Cheese doesn't grow on trees, you know, Wallace. The more's the pity. One for the road, eh, Mr. Paneer? Must be a long road, eh, Mr. Wallace? Just one last nibble. <sighs> oh, American cheese. Heavens! How did that get in there? No, I can't take the chance. That looks like... Can it really be cheese? Hey! What is it now? Your mouth! Your mouth, you mild gentleman! Hey! You do know how to wound a bloke, Winnie! Oh! Got him that time! Serves him right for being such a grumpy old granddad! Can I have this? Would you mind, uh, if I, uh, that is, could you see your way fit to lending me that pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly, uh, for business purposes? Business purposes? Well, be my guest. I've got bunches of them. Miss Flint, if you'll just take a look at the pansies, I think you'll... I told you, Mr. Wallace. I refuse to let those yellow hooligans have the satisfaction of... Oh, Apple. You see? They're mending their ways. They just needed a firm talking to, that's all. Mother forgives you, you naughty little pansies. Sweet satisfaction. Action, Mr. Wallace. Yes, indeed. Very sweet. I got a helmet. I thought you might find this useful, Major Crumb. A helmet? By George Wallace, there's nothing like a good helmet. Makes a fellow want to put himself in the path of projectiles. If you know what I mean. Good heavens. I shouldn't be skulking around in a cellar like a frightened rat. I'm a soldier by thunder. Private Robert, I hereby appoint you officer commanding this air raid shelter. Here, you pass out the rations. I've got a war to win. Charge! Now we got the protein. Now to get my hands on a protein bar. Come on, Gromit. Gromit. Hmm. Well, let me get yours then. Request dispensation of protein bars, uh, soldier. What was he doing? Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I reckon. A sunny day like today. It's a trifle sweltering, yes. But danger and discomfort are all in the line of duty for an officer of the law. Though most folk don't appreciate it. Okay. Lovely. Something to cogitate on. We had a little chat. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Okay. It will look at you. That's more like it. No, 
now you've had time to think, what can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Feel bad about what you did, do you? He's weeping. Maybe this contraption's got feelings after all. <laughs> now, I want a truthful answer. If I release you from custody, will you do it again? No, I won't. Well, I'll be done. The prisoner has been interviewed, yes, and having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release him into your protective custody, provided, Wallace, you give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him. Or it. Or whatever he answers to. Oh. Oh, I'll keep an eye on him, Constable Dibbins. You have my word on that. Yes. I'm surprised he ain't saying nothing about that. We got everything. One unit of Energite fluid for a creamy finish. Now to mix up my very own quick grow muscle formula. That ought to do it. You gonna mess that blender up? No, the mixomatics all mixed up. Stop! Stop! Help! Grum it! Oh, thanks, lad. Checking to see if anything sprouted yet, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Miss Flit. Really, I don't see what you're hoping to. Whoa! Oh, I don't believe it. It works. It works. The homemade quick road miracle muscle formula works. We're in business, lad. You see, Gromit, look where a bit of enterprise can get you. If I hadn't found that flyer you chucked in the bin, I'd never have been able to concoct my miracle grow. Oh. And then where would we be? You really must be careful what you chuck out, you know? Uh, Lincoln, Nora! Oh, my word! I think I'm going to faint. Well, we got enough flowers. This ought to be plenty of fuel for the old pollinator. You know, you can make some you can make a lot of money with that little juice you made. Let's take it back down to the basement. Champion, that is. Fifty gallons of honey and just in time for my annual tea and crumpet festival. Pleasure doing business with you, Wallace. Always aim to please, RPs. Nice. That's the last of our bills, Gromit. Good. And we've got just about enough left over for that little holiday we've been planning. No, you should probably save this it. This year, I fancy... Blackpool. Oh, oh yes, lad. I think our money troubles are over at last. Air raid! Air raid! Battle oh, stations everywhere! Not this again. Excellent vantage point. Prepare for a crash landing, you devils! Sorry, Wallace, but I'm going to have to come near your dining room. Uh, now, just a minute, Major Cross. No time to argue, old man. The whole town's under bombardment. But here they come! What the? Mm. That's an egg from it. Giant bees. Have 
Run! Help the citizens of West Wallaby Street! Civilians, out! But... That's an order, Wallace! Private Gromit, kindly escort this civilian from the battle zone. That is pretty scary. Giant bees. Keep the faith, soldier! West Wallaby Street needs you! Good heavens, Gromit! You don't suppose those monsters have anything to do with our honey-making operation, do you? Bumbling egg! My it's the flowers you fed formula. to the bees! It didn't just affect the flowers! Just hope it's a wrong number, and not more bad news. That bee just casually walk in the house. Yes, Mr. Paneer. Uh, well, of course you're upset. Being <laughs> dive bombed by giant bees isn't good for any business. Uh, we're doing all we can to get the situation under control. Uh, normal honey service will be resumed as soon as possible. Uh, with normal sized bees. That's a promise. There's a giant fly in the soup, lad. And it's shaped like a bee. They're taking over the town. Time to read the riot act. I am their employer, after all. Oh! What? They won't listen. Where's They're your clothes? completely out of control. This funny business has a sting in the tail and no mistake. Oh! Oh, God. Do something for me! Hello, from B to... Oh, Constable Dibbins. Well, if, if I could, I, I would... Oh, oh, ah, Mr. Gabble here. I ain't much good at eating humble pie. But I spoke out of turn yesterday. You're not a daft apers after all. What I said to you, I take it all back. You're a credit to the town. Just a minute. What's this? Ah! Oh my kitty ass! There's only one thing can put round here. What could have caused this? Let's go get that tennis rack. Huh. What's this? Oh, he's just tired. I got an idea. Open the trash can. Got rid of that. Go inside the house. Pretty scary. I'm not even gonna lie. I said, get out! I may be knocking on, but I ain't finished yet. Oh my god, okay. What 
you want. No. It's you. Don't tell me. You want me to do something about the giant bees. We're on the case, all right? Them buzzing bandits will feel the full weight of the law, make no mistake. But, uh, well, it's complicated. I don't know what the charges would be, exactly. Nothing in the penal code about giant bees, so far as I can see. But rest assured, I'm looking. Yep, that's pretty much every cop. And tell that master of yours, he left some at behind. There was another cheese, too. But I kept it for me sandwich. Fair payment for me troubles, says I. <laughs> cheese was on the ground. What in the world? I need to get up there today, right player. Constable Dippin' Scrummit. He's not a happy camper. The bees have trapped Mr. Paneer in his shop. Yeah, I know. Very clever. Okay. Take care of the bees in our basement. Private Grummet! It's looking grim out there! What do you need? That's right, soldier! Help steady my aim! Oh! Ah, bag the bounder! Try getting out of that one, live boy! 
Got him off. Oh, see that? Ah! Blew him right out of the sky. That'll teach him. A thrilling sight for you, Private Gromit. Why, I feel like a young man again. Calls for a celebration, Private. Meet you in the mess in 20. Wow. You who? Gromit? Opia! Now, listen to me. Nice doggy woggy. I'm trapped <laughs> in this tree by giant bees. Do you understand? You must take a message to your master. I need him to get me down from here. Can you tell him that? Oh, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Give him this. It's a note. Oh, tell him to hurry. I, I, I can't hold on much longer. All right, all right. Doggy walking. I see. But the good news is. Oh. Oh, no. That's nice, Gromit. In case you haven't noticed, we're in the middle of a bee situation. I'm on the phone with Constable Dibbins. You can show me your artwork afterwards. I'll show what your audio, man. Ah, Mr. Gabble here. I ain't much good at eating humble pie, but I spoke out a turn yesterday. You're not a daft but after all. What I said to you, I'll take it all back. You're a credit to the town. Well, fighting dogs come limping home. There now, weren't so hard, were it? Is that you, Winnie? Breaking code of silence, are you? No need for silence now you've shown a bit of humility. Humility? Me? Never! Oh, you don't fool me. You're just a big old softy, and I know it. Hey, I need me head examined. Keeping shock up and when town's crawling with giant bees. What's got into you, Winnie? Stay back, I say. Oh, Winnie Gabbley! They in there fucking. Sorry for the delay, Mr. Paneer. I think you'll find the streets are now B free. Thank heavens for the boys in blue. Now, I'll have to ask you to accompany me to the station. There's some paperwork we need to fill out. Nothing too bothersome. Happy to do my part. It's citizens like you what make my job a pleasure, Mr. Paneer. Good work, lad. Seems you took care of the downtown gang good and proper. But so long as they're still supersized, our job's only half done. I'd better get to work on a reverse growth formula. You've pacified all the bees, Gromit. Good lad. I knew I could count on you. Help! Wallace! Someone! That sounds like Miss Flit. Yeah, it is. Help! Get me down from here! Don't panic! I'm coming, Miss Flit! Oh, it seems I'm underdressed. Gracious! Hey, nothing you never seen before. Hang on, Miss Flint. Ah! Jesus Christ. 
So that's the story, Miss Flit. I'm afraid my miracle growth formula led to some uh, super-sized problems. I hope you're going to get rid of the infernal stuff. Oh, I am. And rest assured, all the bees have been dealt with safely and humanely. Well, that's a relief. But weren't you scared facing down an angry swarm of giant bees all by yourself? Frightened? Oh, well, I, uh... Well, I was heavily outnumbered, of course, but uh, they soon saw who was boss and that the uh, sting was on the other foot. I was terrified. That's only natural, Miss Flit. Uh, uh, well, I had a twinge or two myself at times, you know, but keep a cool head. That's um. my motto. Look your adversary square in the eye and never let yourself get carried away. <laughs> What's it smell like? Turn me into royal jelly. <laughs> the ingratitude. After I built her a hive in solid brass and a magnetronic pollinator thing of Egypt to take all the hard that work thing is scary. making. Oh, I'm beginning to think I should never have mixed this growth formula at all. I ought to chuck it away. Hey, easy old girl. No need to get excited. Put me down gently and no one will get hurt. Oh dear, nothing in the beekeeper's manual about aerial abduction. Help! That thing is nasty. That a boy! I knew you'd come through! Get the ladder, lad! Uh oh. What? Okay. Ah, uh, this one? And then this one must be the ladder. Oh, what? That's right, lad. Now raise the ladder. It, the ladder's broken, and I left the spare at home. <laughs> Lend me a hand, Gromit. It's no use, Gromit. She won't let go. Oh, I think I know. Get off. You'll have to think of a plan B, Grommy. Oh, we're going to tickle her. On terra firma. Well done, Gromit. Gromit? Gromit! You alright, lad? Oh, good show! We've made it through this little episode in one piece. More than I can say for the autopilot, I'm afraid. Oh, the autopilot! Oh, dear. Looks like our troubles aren't quite over. Look out behind you, Grummy! Keep her at bay. I'll try and lose her in here. Time to use the gun. Hmm. Perhaps the honey could use a little kick.
you see the whites of our eyes? I can't do everything myself, Tommy. You're going to have to pitch in and do... Whoa! Her grommet. Ooh, cracking teamwork, lad. Ooh, cracking teamwork, lad. Jesus Christ. I've done it, Grommet. I found the antidote to that pesky growth formula. Now we can finally cut our bee problem down to size. Though, there is one small uh, um, complication. <laughs> okay. Everyone. And welcome to another episode of Wallace and Gromit Grand Adventures. This is the second episode for uh, Telltale Games. And it is called The Last Resort. <laughs> There's no need for the evil. Gromit, do something. Call the Coast Guard. Get the cheese, Gromit. <laughs> what happened? Talk about oh my God! Cats and dogs are plumbing's in a right pickle. Fetch me my spanner, lad, while I stick me finger in the dike. <laughs> that don't sound right. Okay. My fetcher, your spanner. Oh, you call it a, a what? A spanner? It's a Get wrench. The job. Bring it here now, will oh, you? A wrench, lad? wrench, 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 wrench. No, it's not really a wrench, it's a, uh, what, what, what do you even call this? Yeah. Well done. Our troubles are over. Whoops. Oh my god, how? What? Crikey, that was a shock. Best trip the circuit breaker, lad. And stay clear of the water. It's electric. Oh my god, okay. Uh Get back. Look out, lads. The tide's coming in. Let's find another way to the circuit breaker. I already see the float. Romy, have you gone, crackers? You'll get yourself electrocuted. I forgot I had to pedal. Oh, I mean, well, the shovel. We can't, we can't go to that. Hang on. Okay. Careful, lad. That's extremely volatile compressed rocket gas. Ex NASA. Can now I? we're in a pickle and no mistake. Anything else? What's this? Train tracks? Remember our toy train? Now that was a runaway ride. Yeah. That was in the Penguin movie. Okay. Um. Can I use this on that? There's no way out, lad. Don't do it, lad. Just blow yourself to smithereens. Oh my god. Well done, Grommy. Poor be fixed in a jiffy. Just a moment. Turn to the right. And now it's safe to hit the light. That's better. Oh, there you are. Well, we'd best clean up. Crack on, lad. There's a lot to do. 
Yeah. Sorry about the unseasonal weather. I'm afraid it means we'll have to put off our little trip to the seaside. Unless... Unless... Bring the seaside to us. Whoa. Because the water? Yeah, but, uh... How? Look here. We've already got a cellar full of water. Just a few more items. There we are. And we can enjoy the seaside from the comfort of our own home. Ho ho ho! Won't that be something, lad? We'll stay home for the holidays and have our own beach to boot. Lucky the rain's let up for now. I'll be back in a trice with all the necessaries. Sun, sand and beach umbrella coming up. Sun, sand and beach umbrella. Okay. Where am I gonna get those three? I need to find, hold on. Did I hear that correct? We need to find the sun, some sand, and an umbrella. Yabba wabba. No beach supplies in there. It'd be funny if he lifted up and it's like one of the bees that was in there. Uh. Uh, can we take a flower? Hmm, I'm sure Miss Flip won't mind if I take just one. If I learned anything from playing uh, Telltale Games, is to make sure you interact with everything and grab everything that you can. They got like a button so you can see what you can grab and what you can interact with. All right, let's leave. Let's go to town. See what we can find in town. Watch out. Who's that? What? There's our beach umbrella. Duncan, what are you doing here? Picking you up, lassie. Of a date. Ooh. Surely you're not still thinking of the beach. It's freezing cold and might rain any moment. Ugh, a little wet ah. never dampen the spirits of my biscuit. Grab your wellies and we'll be off. Duncan, I really don't think so. You must admit, it's hardly... Let's see if we can get that umbrella. Ridiculous. Oh, hello there, Wallace. Come and meet Duncan McBiscuit. He's an old friend. Uh huh. And of course, you know my two precious darlings, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Say hello to Mr. Wallace Angels. I didn't know you had dogs. Uh, yes. Uh, look, Gromit, it's your friends from next door. Friends. Cute little fellows. Oh, yes. They're show dogs, you know. Prize winners. They're my pride and joy. Well, I won't keep you. No, 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 no. Duncan was just leaving. Leaving with you, lassie, for a day on the beach. But what if there's a cloud burst? I don't consider thunder and lightning very pleasant beach companions. But there's no thunder and no lightning. <laughs> Can you hear any thundering? Any cracking or booming? Well, can you? Maybe I can. Just hush your tongue a moment, will you? I said the thunder. Oh, I gotta play some kind of sound? You can't hear no thunder, can you? Not even a wee tinkle. I suppose not. Rather stay warm and dry. Huh. Okay. So, I gotta have some kind of thunder sound so that maybe I can get the umbrella. I don't know. Let's go back. Well, let's go into town and see what we can dig up. We must act now before the flood. Gather the townsfolk. We'll stack the sandbags oh. to the north, south, and east. Still time if we hurry. Look lively now, soldier. No, 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 you can't dump these sandbags in. Just, just, just wait a moment, Major, please. Stop dithering, you dunderhead. The town's being swept under. There's now being swept under, Major. And you're beginning to be a public nuisance. There's a sandbag and there's some cheese afternoon Wallace oh yeah 
It's a stack of Stilton. Oh, that's the thunder sound. Oh, was that the earth shaking roar of thunder? Uh, well, actually, uh, it doesn't matter when it comes to the complex question of climate. A person should never really rely on his own senses. Only the experts really understand the weather. Oh. Okay. That's quite a light, Mr. Paneer. It's a searchlight. I say, no shortage of candle power there. Right as the sun, don't you think? Wonderful for oh. bringing in the big spenders. Then the weather's fair, that is. Okay. I wonder, Mr. Paneer, where might a person acquire such a lump? I'd be happy to lend you this one, but if the weather warms up tonight, I'll need it to advertise my super sore away sizzling summer sale. Oh, summer sale. It's, been, it's raining, man. Well, it's about to rain. Oh, beach ball. Wait, do we need a beach ball? No, we need sand. We need sand, sun, and uh, the umbrella. But... No beach brollies left. Sorry, a big burly bloke bought the last one. He weren't very Duncan. polite about it. Hey, Duncan got bought it, okay. Hello, love. Forgot your name. But I love this old lady. She's so adorable. Afternoon, Mrs. Gabberly. Gabberly. Hello, Wallace. Lovely weather, isn't it? Well, uh, I... Uh... I'm joking, Pat. I know it's rotten. Had to cancel me holiday. That's Aww. a shame. Certainly is being stuck with old misery guts here. I heard that. He don't miss a word I say, except when I ask him to do something. Ah, sitting behind a till all day ain't exactly hard labour. What would you know about hard labour? I could run this place a sight better than you. If I had a mind to. If you had a mind. What would it be, love? Uh, all in the magazines. Looking for something to read? Take your pick. I'll put it on your slate. Tell the tale. Weather forecast, no sun. Ah, uh, guess this. More rotten weather on the way tonight, they say. Okay. Set. Hey, make sure he don't nick any sweets. Mind your own business. That old misery guts thinks he could run this shop. <laughs> he couldn't run a bath. <laughs> I come back if I need to switch. Let's see what they're talking about. Hey. Uh, um. Yes, soda. Out with it. Uh, well, uh, can we get some like sandbags? These sandbags. I know just the spot. Just as I told you, the people are pleading for sand, and we've got to give it to them. I'd like to give it to you, you loony old girl. <laughs> but if you've got a need for sandbags, Wallace, I hereby grant you permission. <laughs> oh? You grant permission? Indeed. Take all you want, Wallace. In fact, no okay. cheek. I'm the commanding officer here, you jumped up Jobsworth, and I hereby revoke permission. Can't you be cooperative just this once, Major? Cooperative? Don't know the meaning of the word. Sounds subversive to me. All right, Major, how about this? Why don't we ask Wallace here who's in command? Oh. This young Tongo? Uh... Very well. Why not? Tell us, soldier, who holds rank here? Remember your training? Uh... Well... You are the Major. Well, the Major is a... a major. major. Ah! Ah! Just so. <laughs> now, stand down, or I'll have you clapped in irons. 
You may have the sandbags, Wallace. Hey, you. I grant you permission. I deny you permission to grant permission. <laughs> what? Yes. I give the orders round here. Now, who's being uncooperative? I'm the authority here, and what I say goes. Uh, ain't that right, Wallace? Back me up here. Okay, fine. You then. Well, the constable is, uh, an officer of the law. Aha! Like I told you, I call the shots in this district. The sandbags are yours, Wallace. They are not! But you're the one who wanted to jump a major. That was before you waltzed in and tried to usurp my authority. Wallace! Kindly tell the Major here who the officer in charge is, will ya? That's right, soldier. Inform this non-combatant nincompoop where his duty lies. Uh... The sandbags? Uh, regarding <laughs> those sandbags... Not now, man! We need to teach this impertinent interloper to show some respect. Tell him to obey his superiors! Go on, Wallace. Tell the old goose what's what for a chucks him in chokey. I don't know what y'all want from me. What y'all like some flowers? We are waiting, soldier. Well, the major is No. I, I can I can click on the poster. How do I Oh. No, no. Right. The... I'll handle this on my own. Hold on. It said I could. Two fine flavors that work well together. That's a nice sentiment. Do I gotta tell them that? <coughs> tell ya. Go. Hold on. Two fine flavors that work well together. We're talking about who's in charge, not flavors. Just a moment. I don't know. Are you saying that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team, like uh, yes. steak and kidney? Uh, are you saying that in a crisis like this, we must act as one, like a well-trained commando unit? Actually, it's a sign. Exactly. A sign that we can rise above our squabbles. Very well, then. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll send these sandbags off with you. Thank goodness. Well, I'll be off then. I can hear an hot meat pie calling me name. Yes, I can. Ernest Dibbins, it's saying. It's tea time. Fetch the blinking ketchup, Ernest. Now then, soldier, all I need is your requisition form. My what? Requisition form? That's right. Got to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations, can we? Spies? Surely you heard about the spies from abroad. They're everywhere. Don't look so rattled, man. Just bring me your requisition form, and you'll soon be neck deep in splendid sandbags. Oh, right then. What the world am I get that at? Uh. Hey. Thinking weather, eh, Wallace? It is rather gloomy. Like my business. Not a single customer all day. My sizzling summer sale has lost its sizzle. Because it's not summer. I don't well, it might it might be summer, but it's not the weather for it right now. Oh show them the Oh! Show me weather ahead, I'm afraid. Oh? Oh no. After all that, my sizzling summer sale is ruined. I go on holiday, but the weather's a washout. Will the sun never shine on yours truly? Speaking of sun, can I take that light now? I say, I wonder where a person might acquire such a light. You're welcome to borrow this one, Mr. Wallace. There won't be any sizzling summer sale tonight. Not in this blinking weather. That's very kind of you. Always happy to help. Oh, ho, ho. this light will make a smashing sun. How do I get the...
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that thunder I hear? Uh, not exact. Didn't Hello. think so. After all, you can't tell what the. Cheese of the week club. What's the latest cheese of the week, I wonder. Stilton. And that reminds me. I just sent the truck out with your delivery. When you return home, you'll find it waiting patiently on your doorstep. Uh, really? Just like Gromit. Oh, you know, Mr. Wallace, there's nothing like coming home to a faithful, loyal cheese. Cheese! I quite agree. Let me go back to the house. Yes, okay. Oh, I can get it to him. Hold on. No, not look at that. Let me get this. Oh, oh a special order for 62 West Wallaby Street. Stilton. One of my favorites. I bet I can get that to that man, but hold on. <clears throat> you wouldn't go to the seaside today, would you, Wallace? You'd stay inside with a cozy cup of tea, inventing some clever thing, wouldn't you? It's certainly cozier indoors. Just so. Now, Duncan, it's time you were on your way. On my way? Felicity! I refuse to go out in a thunderstorm. Oh, there's no thunderstorm. You can't hear no thundering, can you? Maybe I can hear thundering. Just button your backpacks for a moment, will you? All right, the cheese. Oh, yeah, it's mouth-watering. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, my Very clever. That's thunder, all right. And it's nearly upon us. Oh, for sure, it may be thundering, but but did you see lightning? There's no lightning to bother about us, sir. I don't know if oh, I can no, do that. You don't. I'm not going to stay out here with you waiting to be struck by lightning. I'm going to seek shelter, and if you've any sense at all, Duncan McBiscuit, you'll do the same. Good day. What? Oh. What are you looking at, Jimmy? <laughs> God, I love this show. Now we got the umbrella. I'll just borrow this. Just the thing for our cellar-based indoor beach experience. I know exactly how to get the sand. Be right back, Grandma! It's only for cheese, but give that here. Good heavens. Special orders deliver to 62 West Wallaby Street. Mm -hmm. You've done the service proud, soldier. Now stand clear. No time for chitter chatter. I'm needed in West Wallaby Street. Uh, uh yes, sir. There he goes. We got the sand. We did it. Let's go back to the house. Nice to see you, but bye. Yes. Okay. Oh. Whoops, a Daisy. There we go. Top That's on. everything. All the sand we need. The Riviera, here we come. Great news, Gromit. All the goods have been gathered. Now it's time for some elbow grease, eh? To the cellar. Job done, Gromit. Time wow. to relax on the beach, eh? Not bad. We deserve a holiday. Just a minute. Such a lovely beach. It's a shame to keep it to ourselves when we could... 
share it with paying customers. Just imagine West Wallaby Street Water World, a genuine beach house complete with its own all weather seaside in the cellar basement beach attraction. Oh, oh, we'll be surrounded by happy holiday makers. It'll be grand, Gromit. What's a waste of time? Your stairs don't this man's ruining my oh, blinking oh, holiday. Half a mind to take my book and get sand in your home. sandwich. I was only teasing. Just ask that great big pudding Shut there. Shut up! I ain't no pudding. You <laughs> These folks are disturbing the peace. Bylaws state that all livestock must what be kept can't? under proper control my in public places. The fly, and they're not livestock. I want a refund. I want a refund and all. Refunds would indeed appear to be in order, Mr. Wallace. What do you say? Jesus. Uh, uh, um, well, here at West Wallaby Street Waterworld, customer satisfaction is our top priority. If you'll just be patient, I promise we'll have everything under control by supper time. Uh, You've got till supper time, no later. Not much of an holiday so far, I'm sorry to say. Mm, those mutts are a threat to You're public safety. Just a bit of that man fruit display. Calling my dears livestock. We can't afford to give refunds, Gromit. We've spent all our money doing the house up. This could be a financial disaster. What are we going to do, lad? I never thought we'd have a house full of unhappy holiday makers. Bunch of morning minis, if you ask me. I'm having a grand old time. Well, that's one satisfied customer, anyway. There we are. This customer relationship management isn't so hard, is it, Gromit? There's hope for our little venture yet. You'd best get supper started. Make it a feast to remember. I'll see to our guests. We'll soon have a house full of happy campers, eh, lad? Hmm. Okay. Well, what's the matter with you? Your searchlight is just what West Wallaby Street Waterworld needed, Mr. Paneer. Everything satisfactory, I hope? No, not satisfactory at all. A certain Scottish gentleman has been deconstructing my constructions. Perhaps the management could have a word with him. You mean you're saying, hey, Castle? Mr. McBiscuit is rather difficult to pin down. You've got to do something. If I can't finish my sandcastle, I'll have to insist on a refund. Your <laughs> castle looks very handsome, Mr. Paneer. <laughs> Such charming little bucket shapes. I do admire creative artists like yourself. Oh, thank you, Miss Flit. <laughs> At least someone appreciates art and craft. Look. It's almost done. What do you reckon? Uh, you didn't do too much nice. to make those. All you did was fill up the bucket and then pour it down, and that's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, this that's one. That's the tower of groceries where the heroic young shopkeeper sells top quality produce. Impressive architecture, don't you think? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. So this is basically you. That's the enchanted tower where the beautiful princess sleeps dreaming of a successful marriage to a financially secure prince. <laughs> okay. That's the royal court where the king holds sumptuous banquets for all his royal chums. Okay. That's the horrible dungeon where the mean bullying knight is kept locked in chains. <laughs> All right. I should look in on our other guests. But I'm nearly done. Just one last touch. There. The perfect finishing touch. The mark of finest quality produce. Ye. Miss Flit's going to be impressed. <laughs> oh, hi. She'll be ever so impressed, I'm sure. Uh oh. Oh, no. uh, oh. Oops, my foot slipped. Silly me. <laughs> my foot. My foot. The castle. Stomped on by a tartan heel. Oh. See what I have to put up with. <laughs> a holiday's not a blinking holiday if I can't finish my sandcastle. Now I have to start all over. No big deal. Ah, uh, what's the matter with you, Major? 
Enjoying your holiday, I hope, Major? Oh, yes, absolutely. Dashed comfortable billet you have here. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, we strive to achieve complete customer satisfaction. That wasn't so hard. Okay. Put that thing down and pay attention. Oh. I am about to reenact one of the greatest desert battles of history, the Siege of Akaba. Okay. Not many know the tale. It was late 1914, or was it 1916? It was an even year of that, I'm sure. On the one side was a single British soldier, T.E. Lawrence, better known to you civvies as Sir Lawrence of Olivia. On the other, the invading army of the Ottoman Empire, thousands strong. You know the story. Lawrence single-handedly defended a desert fortress from a massive attack. He had only one rifle and no ammunition. He was all alone. Just like this, Lawrence okay. watched the enemy from a secret vantage point sheltered by enormous red boulders. <laughs> anyway, as the enemy massed, vultures began to circle overhead, crying out in their desperate thirst for blood. Hmm. Anyway, now at this oh. point, your average Joe would have thrown in the towel and anything else he had to hand. But what do you think our Lawrence did? He took tea. Hmm. Anyway, okay. I was about to dunk his digestive when suddenly, oh, blast and bother! This isn't right. Not quite historically accurate, I'm afraid. I'll have to start again. Just a moment. Okay, I need to get the missing items he need. So, red boulders, vultures, what was the other thing? Tea. Okay, tea, red boulders, and vultures. Where am I gonna get that? Hello, Wallace. What's your problem? Uh, I trust everything at West Wallaby Street Waterworld is to your satisfaction, Miss Flit. We strive to satisfy. It's sweet of you to ask, Mr. Wallace. I'm having a wonderful time. All this drama swirling really? around me. But I remain an oasis of calm in the hurly burly of holiday madness. Oh, glad to hear it. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Do you need something? What's in the chest? Oh, you like this, Wallace? I've been longing for a new look, and I quite fancy this one. Very incognito, don't you think? My own babies wouldn't recognize me in this getup. Uh. I'm afraid fashion isn't really my forte, Miss Flit. Nonsense! What man is immune to the allure of a well-dressed woman? That's what you want me to do? You want me to get these items? Some gloves, glasses, and, like, a... Uh, scarf? How funny! That sounded just like my little darling's chew toy. Okay. What's this? Ambient sound. Oh, the hold up. Seaside songbirds. Hold on. You're in luck, my boy! I was just about to reenact the Siege of Akaba. You know the story. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Anyway, vultures circled the sky, crying out for blood. Just like this, yes. Oh, Lawrence. All right. Lawrence. I still need a tea and the red boulders. All right. Red boulders? Check the kitchen. Hey, Gromit. Hard at work, eh, Gromit? What's the matter with That's you? That's what I like to see. We'll soon have a house full of happy holiday makers, never fear. Oh, cracking idea, lad. Everyone loves a copper. You'd best attend to your pots and pans, eh? Okay. 
I got the tea. What's wrong with his mouth? What? Okay, this game got a couple of glitches. I think what that is on his mouth. I think that's like a glitch where when he's talking, he makes like an O shape with his mouth and it somehow got stuck. <laughs> is that like that in the cutscene? Turn around, Wallace. <laughs> Hang on, I got you some tea. May I offer you a spot of tea, Major? Of course, sharpens the wits. Okay. There's the tea. Now I just need the red boulders. Anybody else want some tea? Want some tea? Care for some tea, Mr. Paneer? No, thank you, Wallace. I'm too busy for tea. Okay. Hello there. Would you like some tea? Uh, may I offer you some tea? Oh, you're sweet as honey, but no tea for me, thank no tea? you. It makes me windy. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> a polite way to say it. it makes me fart. Something to get our guests in the holiday mood. Uh, <laughs> can I go that? I'd better stay here and see to our guests. The umbrellas. Bevy of brollies to think of all the trouble I went through to get just one. Okay. Can we go in the living room? Oh. Hey. Mr. Wallace? Yeah. I'd like to work with you if you please. <laughs> and not my dogs. And that mass. Enjoying your stay at West Wallaby Street, Waterworld, Constable? Good luck, Wade Wallace. this close to having your establishment shut down. Shut down? Shut down? You heard me. These dogs are a public nuisance. They're not mine. and all. Oh, dear. Went bonkers, they did. And all because I tried to clear away that horrible little toy of theirs. I don't approve of litter, you know. I believe Miss Flitter... I've warned Felicity Flitter, no. And now she must face the full force of the law. I'm issuing a formal caution for the disruption of lawful quietude. It's the third I've had to write today. What happened to the... The third? Aye, the first two got eaten. Give this one to Miss <laughs> Flitter and tell her to remove her animals or I'll be forced to shut the place down. Jesus. Just take the toy. Oh, I say, Gromit never reacts like that. Watch your fingers. You don't like anyone touching the toy. Okay. I mean, they're gonna bite, but it ain't gonna hurt that bad. They're just little, little small little dogs. They're kinda cute. I ain't gonna lie. Gromit won't mind if I borrow this. Okay. Okay. What's this? Cheese! Cheese. <laughs> Beach ball. Oh, bouncy. Okay. Any more? This needs ironing, it does. Okay. Any more? No, I think that's it. Yeah. Hold on, move, Wallace. I can't see. Okay. Hey, they've been taking photos. The camera loves her, and she loves it back. Ah, oh, Blackpool. The Riviera of the North. 
big fella. <laughs> a man of action, our major. Except when he's resting, of course. <laughs> I like this. Cotton candy. Candy floss. Nice. All right. I wonder who we're going to get this to. Oh. Jesus. Mm. Ooh, that seems to Wallace. be order. I've never seen anyone in real life be able to do that. And then you threw the cup on the ground. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. All right. I'll give her the uh, paper. Well, after I check these rooms. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. For as many customers as we can handle. What's in here? The dining room, right? What's the matter? You getting homesick? What's wrong? Uh, anything I can do for you, Mrs. Gabberly? Oh, Why are you dear. crying? Oh, what a mess I am! But it's me own fault for letting that mangy McBiscuit get under me skin. Why should I care what he says? What? As me mum taught me, sticks and stones will break your bones, but silly names can never hurt you. Hey, here comes trouble! Big fat pudding! <laughs> Big fat pudding? No, oh, it's true enough, I know it. I'm out of shape for a beach holiday. Perhaps I should just get my refund and go home. Oh, no. That's kind of you, but it's no good. I can't be talked out of a mood like this, can I? Oh, well, I... Uh... Oh, it's a sorry old world, isn't it? Thanks to the bullies. Wallace, we need to go talk to that man. She's my favorite character. And I don't like seeing her sad like this. That kind of make me want to cry for real. Not even joking around. She's so adorable. What in the world? Cheese? That's a stinky cheese. I can't say as I understand you, Wallace. Huh? I'd go home to Mr. Gabberly, but there's no point. Won't get no sympathy from him indoors, will I? Wait, what? Glass tea. Romance novel? A bit of romance. Oh, cheeky. But yes, Gabberly does have his romance. Oh, side. I see what I'm doing. Okay, okay, I got you. Oh, you're a real good listener, you are, Wallace. No, oh, am I making sense? Do you catch my drift? Uh. Do I catch your drift? I don't know what Wallace is gonna say. Fruit? Do I catch your drift? For the guests? Do I catch your drift? Fruit? Glass? What? I don't know. Sharp knife? Do I catch your drift, sharp knife? Loud and clear. Clear as glass. Well, that's good anyway. At least I'm not just talking to myself. Okay. Glad you're here, Wallace. It's not just me, is it? What do you think of Duncan McBiscuit? You smell like stinky cheese. That's a stinky cheese. <laughs> ah, he's a great stinky cheese, he is. Glad you agree. You know what? Yes! Winnie Gabberly's had enough of feeling sorry for herself. So what if I'm a bit like a pudding? 
I've tangled with giant bees, I have. I can take care of a bullying McBiscuit any day. Thank you, Wallace. And I'll be You're right beside you. kindly way with words you have. Uh, glad to be of service. I'll be fine now, Pat. Reckon I'll finish my story. Hey! Uh-oh. Hey there, you big fat! Shut your trap, you tart and tear away, or I'll box your ears! <laughs> you heard that? Mm, I do like a good book. No need for a refund, then? Oh, no. I'm as happy as Larry me. Oh, another happy camper. You let me know if you say anything else. I'll kick his ass right on out of here. Actually, how do I... What? Yeah, I just noticed this slide. <laughs> I'm so slow. Jesus, Wallace? Ain't no way in the world. Boom! Hey. What did I do? Not supper time yet, is it, lad? Sorry about that. Oh, I thought I, like, hurt his ears or something. Oh, can I feed you some tea? Boy, she got Get some tea. Warmer upper. Get pouring. Oh, okay. There you are. She's so cute. I love her. Wallace, why do you keep doing that? <laughs> All right. I wonder what Grumman is making. Okay, now what's upstairs? Gangway, cannonball coming through. Ah, uh, Mr. McBiscuit, may I uh, have a word? Oh! Uh, wow. Peter, then. I'm not gonna lie. The infrastructure's getting a lot of wear and tear. I ain't gonna lie, that look like fun. Glasses. Very oh yeah. I just need the gloves and the scarf. Trouble springs eternal, it seems. Handsome decor for our guest house. I got some glass. Oh! Can you use this as a scarf? Any interest in this? Oh, thank you, Mr. Wallace. What a lovely scarf! Okay. Actually, it's a... Uh... Such vibrant colour! <coughs> such a pretty pattern! Oh, it's look! Perfect it was the same... my new look! Isn't it splendid? It was the same I shape! The scarf, I just need the glasses! Uh, oh, glasses? I thought you need the gloves too! Would you like these sunglasses? Oh, wonderful, Mr. Wallace! Very stylish! I'll use these for my new Luke. My new Luke is complete. My new Luke. Just a moment. You're in for a surprise. Ta-da! What do you think, Wallace? Looking good. Am I not mysterious? Uh, Very mysterious. Quite mysterious, yes. <gasps> oh, where's <laughs> Felicity? Where did Miss... Flit go. I don't know. Uh, Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> we do have fun, Wallace, don't we? God, I love this show. Uh, the police. The policeman wanted me to give you this. Constable Dibbins has Dibbins. requested. Constable Dibbins is mistaken. Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee would never Poochie miss Poochie Woo Gee! They did Tinky seem Wee. a touch rambunctious. Oh, very well. Let's get this over with. Threatening <laughs> behaviour towards an officer of the law, that's a serious offence, that is. Don't think I won't lock you up, cos I will. This is your final, final warning. Okay. <gasps> Emoji, whoa! Take it away! How could you behave like this? Mommy is very. Oh, that's why she needed. Very, okay. very disappointed.
Oh, so if I wouldn't have gave it a disguise, the dogs would have stopped. You upset my precious cupcakes like that. Cupcakes? My darlings, did the bad man upset you? Don't be scared. Mummy's here now. How about a little dressing up game to make it all better? Do you want to play a dress up? Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, come along, my sweets. <sighs> She's lucky I didn't throw those mutts in the kennels. I were this close, I were. You can only push PC Ernest Dibbins so far. It's just a little dog. I hope your holiday is proceeding in a satisfactory manner, Constable. Satisfactory? Hmm. Yes. Hey. Yes, indeed. Everything appears to be quite satisfactory, peaceful, and in order. Thank you, Wallace. Would you like some tea? We're getting there. That's everybody. Oh, no. Oh! Yeah, I gotta go talk to... Okay, hang on. Well, you want some tea? Yeah, uh, for some tea, Constable. The law can't stop for a cuppa. Oh. Which is the law might like to. Okay. Huh, okay. Hmm. You want the beach ball? Would a ball give you some bounce, Mr. Paneer? Oh no, I must focus on my castle, thanks. Oh, the boulder. for a kick around, Major. No time to play ball, man! There's a battle to be reenacted. How about the yarn, then? Any interest in this? Perfect! Just like the great boulders of the Akbar Desert. Okay. I think that's everything. Care for a kick around, Major. No time. No. You're in luck, my boy! I was just about to reenact the siege of Sir Lawrence took cover under massive red boulders. Just like this. Vultures circled the sky, crying out for blood. Blood! Just like this, our Lawrence, cool as a cabbage, took tea. <laughs> just like this. Lawrence was taking tea and about to dunk his digestive when suddenly 10,000 howling Ottoman soldiers charged the fortress. Tea was ruined, obviously. But did Lawrence of Olivier give up? Never! He took his rifle and levered the great red boulders down the dunes, rolling them straight into the enemy horde. With the invaders in disarray, Lawrence, armed only with his bayonet, and still desperate for cover, counterattacked. He took them on one by one until he achieved total and complete victory. Wow. Really? Really? <laughs> okay. Can I get the tea back? Toy? I'll just tidy this up. Okay. Do you want it? Hey. This little fella might enhance your sandcastle. A knight to defend the castle, eh? Why not? It couldn't hurt. Okay. Put him where you like. Oh! Oh! I know what you gotta do. Hold up. One last. Time. Which one is your? There. Yes. The mark of finest quality produce. I can't wait to show Miss Flit. And I'm sure she can't wait to see. <laughs> I'm sure oh, we no. can't wait to see. <laughs> Oh, my food! 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 My food
the defender of the kingdom. However, do you manage I can make that in like two seconds. Mr. Paneer? It's a knack, Miss Lit. If I hadn't made it into grocer school, I might have been an engineer. But of course, groceries <laughs> are my first love. Ah, uh, anything else I can assist with? No, thank you, Mr. Wallace. You may consider me a happy camper. Yes. And most satisfied customer. We do aim to please. That's everyone. Now what? Ha <laughs> ha! At last! A house full of satisfied customers, just as I predicted. I'd best tell Gromit to lay the table. Okay. Chapter 3. I must compliment our host. I've had a cracking holiday. Ooh, thank goodness for that. It was a near thing though, wasn't it? Ooh, smell those fish and chips. We can look forward to superior chow here in the offices, may as well. Mm. The tableware doesn't seem mm. to be in breach of any health and safety regulations. Enforcement's the key, of course. You smell like heaven, lassie. Did you buy a new perfume for our date? Oh, really, Duncan? That's just the flower in my hair. And I'm not sure I'd call it a date. Uh, uh, before we tuck in, on behalf of the management, that is, Gromit and me, I'd like to welcome you all to our new venture. West Wallaby Street Water World, the only holiday destination with its own all-weather seaside in the cellar basement I have beach attraction. a few attract words to say myself. <laughs> Raise your glasses. Raise them, I said. To a great day with a great lass, the sweetest sights I ever smelled. That's right, I'm talking about... Hey, who turned out the... Ah, what's all this? Who's there? Oh. Where's this chair? Where's this chair? Oh, the dogs. Okay, they got them tied up in a in the basement. Oh no. What happened to his Help chair? Me. Help me, somebody! Okay. What happened to the chair, though? How do these dogs do this by themselves? Uh, there's someone here. Help me. I can't move. I don't know what to tell you. Uh... Thank you, whoever you are. I was this close to take my last breath. You found me just in time. I've located the victim. Mr. McBiscuit has sustained a Never located nasty the chair, knock though. to the noggin and don't remember now about it. Happily, he will recover. However, aggravated thumping is a serious offence, and I've no choice but to treat every one of you as suspects. Outrageous! <gasps> Would I never do Suspects? <coughs> Until our thumper is caught, nobody leaves this house. Nobody comes in, and nobody goes out. Not till I know the person who done it. I know who did it. Spies from abroad. Saboteurs from the South Sea. Thank you, Major. That's enough of your doolally chatter for now. Only cold hard facts can solve this mystery. Solve this mystery? That's right. By the book. You know, uh, burden of innocence and uh, proof of purchase and all that. That's our real investigations. Now, what's that contraption? My latest prototype, Constable. The Deductomatic Mystery Solver. Deductomatic? Is that what's been taking money out of my savings account? 
Oh no, Mrs. Gabberly. The deductomatic harnesses unused brain power to solve mysteries. <laughs> if you're pointing the finger, Wallace, any accusation must be backed up by hard fact and proven according to the law. Well, I... Uh, that is, it should be working. Wow, okay. Uh-huh, I've got it. All right then. Tell us, Wallace. Who thumped Duncan McBiscuit? Who done it? Who done it? Oh, that can't be right. We're waiting. Uh, uh, uh just a moment. Any idea who done it, lad? You wouldn't mind pointing him out, would you? It was a dodge. was Poojie Woo and Tinky Wee. <laughs> Two wee pups laying junk and low. That's daft, that is. Aye, <laughs> silly that. The very idea of accusing my dear doggies. How absurd. Aye, quite absurd. <laughs> Absurd, oh. eh? Nothing is absurd before the law. Here we go. It is the absurd claims the law takes most seriously. For, if the absurd cannot expect justice and a fair hearing, then who among us can? He's got a point. We must treat this accusation according to the law. The law requires proof. Proof requires... Uh... Hold on. Proof requires three things. First... The motive. Why did the suspect thump Duncan McBiscuit? Second, the weapon. What was he thumped with? Third, a witness. Who can collaborate? C -c -c Corroborize. Uh, uh, back up your accusation. <laughs> Do you have a motive, a weapon, and a witness, Mr. Wallace? Uh... I'll just recalibrate the inference ometers. You got the footprints, I guess. There we are. What'll it be? Motive, weapon, or witness? Hmm, where to begin? Motives, I don't, I, don't, I wouldn't know. The dogs kind of hate every, any, everybody. Uh, the weapon, what weapon? And witness, it was in pitch black dark. I don't know, uh, motives. Right. That's the one. What's the one? The uh, motive. I've solved the motive. Excellent. Tell us uh, why uh, uh, Wadgy Podge and Tinky Pink thumped Duncan McBiscuit. I don't know. Well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Can you spare a motive, lad? I if you've got one, give it here. Can I lead her on? Nobody leaves the room until I say so. Uh... The motive is... Hoogee Woo and Tinky Wee. Fascinating. Are you saying it was simply their own canine natures that motivated them to attack Mr. McBiscuit? I guess. That the wild animals within broke free and forced the adorable animals without to thump the Scotsman? Uh, well, I, uh... I hardly think so, Mr. Wallace. Your motive doesn't stand up. Uh... Ooh. Oh, it was working. All right, that's enough of that. Everyone can go about their normal business, but remember, nobody leaves the house until the mystery is solved. Uh, Once I have the deductomatic hmm. properly calibrated, this case will be elementary, dear Gromit. Elementary. In the meantime, why don't you uh, 
sniff up some clues for the deductomatic to process, eh, lad? Okay. You might start with the constable there. I expect he's got some juicy leads. I've got the suspects right where I want them. Written down on the official constabulary notepad. I'll crack the case with this, I will. Okay. It's got to be one of these three, but which one? Ah, the motive. Likely to be some physical object. I remember a case a few years back where the motive was a turnip, with two blokes claiming the growing rights. Uh... Mrs. Gabbley? Do you sense something, Bobby? He did make her cry. Hmm. She clearly had a motive. And perhaps under that soft, knitted exterior lurks the soul of a hardened thumper. I must question her. I need to take a look around the house. Can I lead her room? Well, hang on. Let me look around here. Those are artificial flowers, lad. Attractive to the eye, but not to the nose, eh? We know it was the dogs. We gotta find their motive. And we gotta find the weapon and Silicon flowers. a witness. Lovely, but not particularly fragrant. Hmm. Where is Duncan at? She's still in the basement. Go talk to him. Hey, I want to talk to Duncan first. Uh, but you do admit you had a motive. Hey, I did, and I could have thumped him, buried him, and drowned him twice over since I've been down here. <laughs> None of you lot seems worried about that, though. That can't be everywhere, Miss Gabberley. Not with so many suspects to interview. More important than tending the victim of the crime, is it? Look here, I can't stand around chatting all day. I have a thumper to catch. See that you don't leave the house. <laughs> uh, can I talk to him? He took quite a thumping, didn't he? Can't say he didn't deserve it. Still can't <laughs> leave him to rot all on his lonesome. Someone's got to tend to the great lug. That's very nice of you. Oh. Better not have it. He's coming round. Oh, my heat. Somebody stop the spanning. There's a whirlpool I'm in. Don't fret, Patch. You've had a nasty knock. Did you see who thumped you? No, but I can almost remember what hit me. The terrible weapon that laid me low. It's... You saw the weapon? What hit you? I, I think so. It was... Oh, I can't remember a thing. My brain's been boggled. Ooh, you've got amnesia, you have. Amnesia? Oh, no, that as well as a bind to the heat. Is it fatal? Just take things step by step, Chuck. What's the last thing you can remember? Well... I was upstairs, getting set for a jump doing you on slide. Okay. But something wasn't right. Them little dogs of Felicity's were underfoot, and they wouldn't shut their yaps. Well, okay. the biscuit doesn't take guff from yapping wee dugs. So, I grabbed that bone toy of theirs and took it away. Uh, I didn't like it one bit. Oh, that was no. the motive. Best part was, when I squeezed the wee toy, it drove them crazy. Because it made this noise. This noise. Oh, what was that noise? I can't recall. Oh, my God. My brain's It was a squeaky to toy. Don't fret, Pat. Just rest. It'll come back to you. It was a squeaky toy. <sighs> Did it sound like this? <laughs> the sound of the toy! Now I remember. Go on, then what happened? Oh, I kept the toy and shut the wee doggies doing the slide. They didn't oh like my that God. one bit neither. 
Why'd you do that? I was having a grand time. I wanted a wee picky to remember by. Could've so I went him. down to that photo thingamajig. I struck a manly pose and I was... I was... Uh, oh, Crivens. It's all fading away. I'll be forgetting my own name next. Oh, don't get yourself in a twist, love. It'll come back to you. Okay, so you... Okay. So you took the squeaky toy, which made the dogs mad. And then you picked them up and threw them down the slide. So of course they wanted to hit you. And then you went downstairs to take a picture. You shouldn't eat candy floss, Mr. Paneer. Bad for your teeth. Oh, I'm not eating it. I just like having something to hold. You must <laughs> try to stop worrying so. But the thumper, who knows where he'll strike next? I don't think there is a thumper. I think Duncan just fell over and wandered off by himself. Where's his chair? He's a clumsy oaf, you know. Aye, he is heavy on his feet, that's for sure. He'll bounce back, he always does. It's Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee I'm worried about. Those silly accusations hurt their feelings. I just hope playing dress-up will lift their spirits. A new look is a tonic for the soul, don't you find? Fred, I don't know how to play dressing up games as it happens. Doggy dress-up, silly. I just need to pick the right outfits. Oh, so many to choose from. Okay. I'll talk to you a little later. Hang on. Do you like the pretty pictures? I <laughs> promise said no. He's like a little boy, crazy for candy floss. My poor little Duncan. All he wanted was to take me out on a date. Perhaps I'll let him, if we ever get out of here. My poor little darlings. They love a fashion shoot, but they were so agitated they couldn't sit still. Do you know what upset them? Some horrid person stole Mr. Squeaky. Isn't that awful? Mr. Squeaky's only a bone, but he's absolutely their favourite toy. The three of them are inseparable. Personally, I think it was that constable. Who else could be so cruel as to steal from a couple of helpless little puppies? Hmm. Go back downstairs and give him the cup, not cupcake, we get candy, uh, cotton. I just kind of remember. Cotton candy, I said it backwards. I said candy cotton. That's right, I remember. Go on. I was taking a picky, holding a stick of candy food. Oh, I love that stuff, me. I got my hunger up. Just then, like an answer to my prayers, the gong sounded for supper. I came to table, and there I found heaven, my lovely lass, Felicity. I remember the fine, sweet smell of her, like... She smelled like... Um, oh, blast it all. My nose is a blank. I cannot recall. Give it time, love. You'll remember. She smelled like the flower on her head. How do I My get... My head just hit this a bagpipe's bladder. Can I get that flower from her? Can I go outside? Okay.
Can I borrow that flower on your head? Hello there, Gromit. Would you like to play a doggy dress up? No. Uh. Ah, Gromit. You must know what the debonair dog likes. Why don't you help me pick an outfit for my precious darlings? Use your doggy fashion sense and choose your favorite hat, glasses, and color. Um. Rugged. Famous. Sparkling. Posh. Hoochie Woo and Tinky Wee will love this. Hoochie Woo. Tinky Wee. Time for dress up, my dears. Oh, look at this. Hello. You found Mr. Squeaky. You clever things. I was afraid he'd never turn up. Now we're really ready for some fun, aren't we? Let's get dressed up. The poor that things are shy. Would you mind leaving us alone for just a little while? Okay. Hmm. Gotta go out the back door. Good to see you, Private. I ain't doing anything. Watch your hindquarters, Private. There are spies about. Saw myself dragging off that Duncan chap. Not a pretty picture. So you, well, hold on, what? This reminds me of the time I was cooped up in a chicken coop south of Toulouse. My company was pinned down for three days. Nothing to eat but a single croissant and a rotten egg. Have I told you the story, Private? They were the best of times. Or was it the worst of times? I can't recall. Okay, you said, you just said you saw who took Duncan. Okay, I can't go outside. Hang on, let me send the police officer in here. What's this? Checking provisions, eh? Good military planning. Who knows how long that fool of a civilian constable will keep us cooped up? Best start rationing now before panic sets in and we have to eat our pack animals or each other. Okay, come on, down. Gee, heavens! Someone here must be a member of the Cheese of the Week Club. Hang on, let me go tell the police officer to talk to you. One of these suspects knows Summit, but who to question first? If I keep staring long enough, I'm sure I'll detect Summit eventually. <laughs> okay. Caught a scent, have you? Yes, I'll have a little chat with the Major. Perhaps he knows something he doesn't know he knows. Okay. And if you don't believe me, I invite you to inspect the evidence. Are you having a laugh? Enough questions! We're wasting time! The spies could be signaling their ship. If they give away our position, we're done for. <sighs> All there right, yeah. That little hat. Fine. So tell me what these so-called spies of yours looked like. Don't mind if I do. It was dark. Dark as a darkened room. Then the door cracked open, and I saw them. Swarthy little men with sunken eyes and primitive tattoos dragging Duncan's limp body. Sailors, judging by their uniforms, natives of the South Seas, I'd say. Stake my reputation on it. Did they look like this? No, no, no. Eyes more sunken, with heavy brows. That's better. Add nautical tattoos round their necks, and don't forget the uniform. There we are. A hint more menace. Just a hint now. 
Yes, now you've got it. Those are the villains I saw. Right, so this is what they look like, eh? Post that picture to every Jack Tar in the Navy. We've got to stop them before they make landfall. That's just what I'll do. Oh, caught you later. The man means well, but he's a couple of bricks short of the full hod. Was the dogs dressed up well, as sailors? Yeah, Hang on. What are dogs at? I want to change. I want them to change clothes. Does what? Does the nice doggy wuggy want to choose another outfit? Yes, I got a hat. Show me what doggies like best. You're missing a hat. Oh, oh you found it. Good boy. Now Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee can play sailor again. Right. Dress those dogs up as sailors. Aye, aye, Captain. Jaunty. I do like those glasses, but I'm not sure they're still in style. And we wouldn't want my darlings walking around in last season's fashions, would we? Huh? It isn't fair. While I'm stuck in here, fashion is marching on without me. Wait, so you don't want me to dress them up with those glasses? Better not. I'm not sure those are in style. If only I could go to town and pick up the latest fashion news. Then I'd know if those glasses are in or out. Huh, oh, okay. It's dress up time, my darlings. Okay. Don't fuss, sweeties. You can go back upstairs in a minute. What are they doing upstairs? What about the sign, boy? Okay. Time to go for a ride. Sorry. Whoop. Oh. Yes. They gonna be mad that I got that. Basement got like a. Oh, I can't get up there. Hey! Oh my god, they throw my the. Oh, I'm outside now. a little bit much.
No. Oh, the flower! Yeah, that's right. Can I leave town? I mean, not leave town, but can I leave the yard? Yeah. I think I gotta get a magazine. Mr. Gabble is news agent. Now open for business. I need that fashion magazine. Is that a customer I hear? Yeah, shut up. Boy, you want to shop here? You gotta follow my rules. Yeah. Take what you like and I'll put it on slate. Mrs. will sort out payment later. Got that? Boy, and don't nick nothing while you're about it. Blimey, that were easy. I don't know why Winnie makes so much fuss. Now that I got that, maybe I can give it to her. And I can put on the glasses now? Uh oh. Okay. a nice present. That's a stylish look. I do admire those sunglasses. I suppose they're back in fashion. Seems I'm something of a trendsetter. Can I put on the glasses now? Help me pick another outfit, Gromit. The very latest. This is going to be such fun. Would you all? Tinky wee! It's dress up time, my darlings. <laughs> okay, but what what did that accomplish? Uh, let me think. Oh, we yeah, had the flowers. Come up as sharp as a butter knife. She smelled like flowers. That's it! The sweet scent of felicity! How could I forget? I remember! I remember everything now! I'm cured! You've cured my amnes! Amnesia? You cured me, and. and. I were a right numpty with you, weren't I? Still are, I reckon, but don't go weepy on me now. Tell me what happened after you sat down to supper. I was making a toast when the lights went it. My eyes were adjusting to the dark when... Thump! <gasps> who thumped you? Oh, I never saw who, but I saw what. The supper gong mallet! That's what hit me! The supper gong mallet? You sure, Chuck? Sure? Oh, aye. Look. Look what it did to me. Ooh. Ee, that's a crime, that is. No wonder your mind's been a blank. What kind of person would do that? They should be locked up. You go back to sleep now, love. Get some rest. Excuse me. Why'd they come down here with that helmet and they go back upstairs? How do I get the hammer? 
That's the weapon. An extra fluffy bat can't do any harm to trade up. No, this one. what you just do that, oh, Crikey, it's heavy. Must be family size floss. I got you one right here. Oh, I've already got some, and I intend to. Let's make a to. trade. Ah, oh, it's only you, Gromit. For a moment, I thought. <laughs> Well, never mind. I'm sorry, lad, but if you want some candy floss, you'll have to get your own. I'm rather attached to mine. Come on down. You're a grown man. Even the women ain't scared. I'm gonna send the police in here to talk to you. Three little suspects. One of them's got to be the thumper. You can do this, Ernest Dibbins. What is it, boy? Hmm. The sales clerk. This motive is clear enough. But could this apparently gentle purveyor of fine groceries be a Jekyll and Hyde character, perhaps? A vicious thumper in disguise? I must interrogate him. Go talk to him. And put that candy floss down while I'm interviewing yes. you, if you please. Ooh. Ooh. I'll ask you again, and this time I want a straight answer. Did you or did you not thump Duncan McBiscuit? Did you not? I mean, you did not. Uh, that is to say, me, not you. I mean, I mean, not you, me. But not me. <laughs> I did, did you? It really is. <laughs> My God. All right. That's is DNA. Just you watch yourself, Mr. Pinot. I'll out. be watching you. Got it? Not another word. Phew. What happened to my little friend and protector? I have to spin open over. Grandma just did a link style item attain pose. I think I got everything I need. Is that a clue, lad? I'm sure it'll come in handy later. Uh, right now, I need to get me the ductomatic working. Okay. Eureka! I've got it! You sure this time, Mr. Wallace? <coughs> I'll summon the suspects. Bring him on in here. You have accused Felicity's diminutive dogs of thumping Duncan McBiscuit. To prove it, you need a motive, a weapon, and a witness. Where do you want to start? Um, the weapon. Of course. Now we'll get the facts. Get what facts? Uh, the weapon. I've determined the weapon. Well done. Tell us what, um, what you Podge in Winky T used to thump Duncan. Well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Do you have anything resembling a weapon, lad? Yes. I could use one sharpish.
The weapon is this mallet. Eee, you bang on the money this time, Wallace. I remember now. That's what it, Duncan all right. He said so himself, and he's got the dent in his bonds to prove it. It all makes sense now. That a maladjusted mallet, all right. Maladjusted? What makes you say that? Well, it looked all fluffy and pink and delicious, but underneath it was rock hard and not very tasty. Uh, thank rock you, hard. Mr. Pinier. It appears that the mallet is indeed our weapon. Well done, Wallace. You're on the way to proving your case, Wallace. Yep. We have a weapon. What's next? The witness. Cracking. Now we'll know the truth. The truth about what? Uh, the witness. I've identified the witness. Good show. Tell us who witnessed, um, uh, uh, Tinky Woo and Potty Wee assaulting Mr. McBiscuit. The Major well, did. out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Uh, who would you pick for a witness, lad? My witness is Major Crumb. Quite right. I saw him. He was black as pitch. The door cracked black open, pitch. and I saw him dragging away the body. Short, hairy fellows with sunken eyes and tattooed necks. Sailors from the South Seas. Spies. Spies from abroad. Not this again. I think we've heard enough. Wait, Major. Did your spies look like them too? Good heavens! That's them, all right! I'd recognize them anywhere. Put those spies in irons! That would be silly. They're puppies! Dogs of war, more like! What war? Oh, there is no war! What? All right, let's let sleeping dogs lie, shall we? The main point is, the Major saw these two dragging away Mr. McBiscuit. Isn't that right, Major? It most certainly is. In that case, <laughs> according to the law, he is a legitimate witness. The case against uh, them two dogs is coming together. <laughs> the only piece of the puzzle left is the motive. Um. And the motive is... Can you rustle up a motive, lad? Duncan had took the chew toy, right? The motive is... this chew toy. Really? The pups are very attached to that toy. I know from bitter experience. Of course they are. <laughs> Mr. Squeaky was a present from their mumsy. Oh. That doesn't make it a motive for hurting Duncan, though. Oh, yes, it does. Duncan stole the toy from them doggies. Told me so himself. He never did. Oh, he did. If Mr. McBiscuit did indeed take their favourite toy, that could well be a motive for thumping. Why would Duncan want to take Mr. Squeaky? The very idea is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Possibly. But on the balance of probabilities, spot on. I believe this motive meets the test of the law. Wallace, you've shown us motive, weapon and witness. And according to the powers vested in me as an officer of the law, I now pronounce the case solved. Duncan McBiscuit was thumped by a mallet because of a stolen chew toy, the crime being witnessed by Major Crumb. The perpetrators of this evil deed were none other than the canine criminals Poochy Woo and Tinky Wee. It can't be. My darlings are precious, kind, insu doggies, not hooligan hounds. I knew it. 
Wallace knew it. Put him in chains. Throw away the key. Batten down the hatches. Cabin doors to manual. All in a day's detective work. Oh, I really do feel fit. Ooh. Oh, dear. Hey, Doc, you need to go to the hospital. Oh, look, lad. The brain must have come unplugged. That's handy. Oh, seems to have created a bit of a current. Help, Gromit. I've got that sinking feeling. We're all going down the drain. Ah. Uh. Oh, I can move. Do something from it. Hang on, I missed it. To me, lad. No, now nah, keep on clicking on the him. Oh, and that's what do that? Oh, the starfish then. Okay. I haven't got a sea leg to stand on. I've been boarded. Quit moving. Tone the dogs down. Robbie, get me out of here. Wait a minute. Why, why do I have all these items? <laughs> oh my god. Heavens of God. What's gonna happen to them? They followed their toy down the drain. Well, I'll give them one thing. They're dogged to the end. Welcome aboard, lad. Just a short jump to try. I'm sure they'd be fine. That cartoon characters. 
No, no, drop it! I'm about to be flushed! Do something! Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh my kitty. I don't know. I'm feeling all topsy. Cotton candy? Fire extinguisher? Don't do it, lad. You'll blow yourself to smithereens. We got no choice. Woo! Gotcha. Whoa, he caught us with. Man, he's heaven, grown. We've made it, Gromit. We're back on dry land. That's one you owe me, pal. Um, I do hope everyone's had an unforgettable holiday. And that you'll consider visiting West Wallaby Street Waterworld again next year. Hmm. See, I told you they'd be fine. Maybe not. <laughs> Romit, where are you, lad? We've got quite a clean-up job in front of us. No time for dawdling. Romit! <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the third episode, yeah, of Wallace and Gromit Grand Adventure. Muzzle. That should do it, lad. Our brand new Infini flavor ice cream makers ready for business. Patent pending, of course. Its infrared taste analyzer can sample any flavor and turn it into a delicious ice cream. What do you say, Gromit? Fancy pushing the button on our inaugural batch? Wensleydale cream, anyone? Look at it churn, lad. Just in time to be road tested in front of paying customers at the fair this weekend. And all in a good cause, hmm? Miss Flit says it's to raise money to rebuild the donk shelter. The poor pups have been homeless for too long. Imagine if you had no place to call home sweet kennel from it. Hmm, must be the breeze. Miss Flit says the strays have been making mischief all over town. On Tuesday, Mrs. Gabbley's shop was terrorized by a gang of terriers. No doubt they'll come to heel once they've a proper roof over their heads. I'm sure everyone will give generously at the fair to build them a new home. I can't be the only dog lover in town. Nora from it, wild dogs, stray scoundrels, mangy good for nothing mongrels mangling me machine. They must be some of the <laughs> escapees. Oh no! Never said that. Wait a minute now. Hold on. What'd you say? <laughs> the flavor engraver, the brains of our custom flavor scanner lab, it's been scrambled. The four legged beans. I'm sorry, lad, but this is some serious damage. I suppose it's nothing that can't be fixed. I'll tinker with the flavor engraver if you track down our filched crank and our lifted lever. And this cute one's going to need to be calmed down as well. Mind you, it'll take a month of ice cream sundaes to put things right if I can't patch things up. You've got to get them in order if we're going to have the Infini flavor ready for the fair this weekend. Come on, lad, you're a dog. You can reason with them. All that hard work fouled up by a few rogue whippets. Okay, now I'm going to try something. Excuse me. I was eating a slice of pizza. I tried something a little bit different with this video. I went ahead and played this episode so I can, like, I don't want to waste too much time. You know, because I know you guys probably ain't going to want to see me wander around trying to figure out what to do for hours. And plus, I cut it out anyway. So I want to I want to like prepare myself for the game. So I played through the episode. 
and I like kind of figured out what to do. Your and then I waited. Your boy certainly did the trick, didn't it, lad? Oh my, you used to being so attached to it. Took quite a spell to wean you off it, in fact. Now we can focus on getting this machine up and running. And then I wait, after I got done playing the game, I waited for like a few hours um, so that I'll forget some of the solutions. And then I wanted to come back and play it. Uh, so it won't be, so I won't know every little thing. But I do remember, I need to pick this up. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you can't go in there. Okay. But basically, yeah, I didn't want to waste, I didn't want to waste your guys. You guys, time. You guys? I don't want to waste. You, you, you guys? I didn't want to waste y'all time. Y'all time? Come on, English, LaVars. I don't want to waste anyone's time. How about that? Eh. Ah, let me see. Let me see now. Hmm. Trying to figure out what to do. It's like you gotta go outside. Hey! You! You, you little terror! I love, I love this episode mostly because I love dogs. I am a dog lover too, and I love dogs. Morning, private. At ease, private. At ease. I'm sure by now you've received sure. intelligence about the morale raising ops this weekend. Should be a jolly old time. Like when Ensign used to come and rouse the troops, reminded the squaddies what they were fighting for. I remember being stationed in Algeria, and the association organized a whole day of fanfare. Unbelievable! There was Fatima the Snake Charmer, the ever-popular Monkey Toss competition, even a couscous eating contest. Which reminds me, I expect you to be at the fair when I display my digestive prowess. <laughs> the pie-eating contest, Private. You must have seen the sign-up sheet in town. Not yet. You'll challenge the great major, though. I shall be uncontested. They don't call me Cool Hand Crumb for nothing, you know. I don't know. I mean... Have you guys ever entered in a pie eating contest? I haven't. I probably never will, because I know I can't eat that many pies. I mean, I'm a pretty no big guy. Uh, but I'm Mr. I... Wallace. Have you heard about the fundraiser? I've never been to a proper town fair before. But I, I really can't eat that much. You know? Not against someone else in a pie eating contest. That's a lot of bread, and bread fool you up pretty quickly, so... I think I'd be outmatched. I probably could like eat maybe two pies, but it's going far as like eating five or six. Nah, I can't. Oh, <laughs> I can't do that. Cat out of the walk is <laughs> certainly a grand day for it. Anything I can do for you? Town's a buzz with the fundraiser this weekend, isn't it? About time somebody did something to build a new dog shelter. Ooh, I've had run-ins with all sorts of strays of late. Terriers, spaniels, mutts, even an Irish wolfhound. Should have seen the size of him when he went for me pork scratchings on top shelf. Sent me tumbling backwards and brought me awning crashing down. Ooh, I gave him what for and no mistake. Ah, uh, you mean you opened your gob and poor brute took fright. Ooh, mind your business and quit interrupting. This is why you haven't got any friends and spend all day mm. talking to the birds. <laughs> I'm just in need of some intelligent company. Anyway, it's high time town got together to put the shelter back up. Wouldn't you say, Chuck? Oh, yeah. Hey, would you like to enter in this pie eating contest? What you got there, Chuck? Pie-eating contest? Well, isn't that festive? 
Me? Oh, I don't know about that. I, I do love the odd meat pie, but a scoffing contest? That wouldn't be ladylike, would it? <laughs> You've trouble enough appearing ladylike without a meat pie in your gob. Oh, hey, it's that. all in the fun. Tell that to Postman. He seemed quite taken with me this morning. It's only because he's got an eye defect. Oh, shut up, you curmudgeonly codger. You know what, Chuck? I will sign up for the contest. I think it's a splendid idea. And I plan on winning. In a most ladylike fashion, naturally. Let's see. Oh, just me and the Major, is it? Mm. He's no match for Winnie Gabberly. There you go, Gromit. I expect you to attend my victory party. I will. You know, I think their relationship is pretty funny, but if you... Like, I would never, ever touch my wife like that. Never. Not Like, if I do, I'd be playing around and she'd be playing around with me bad. I will treat my girl... Oh, my hello, God. Hello? Like the princess of my dreams. Ain't no way in the world I would have some kind of relationship that he got. Looking forward to this weekend's fair. Should be a riot. And all for a good cause to boot. Who's in jail? Let's find out. <laughs> I'm surprised that woman in the... Uh, what's her name? Miss Flint? I'm surprised she didn't come get her dog. She don't even know they're missing. Show dogs are pretty expensive. Can any dog be a show dog? Eh. Look who's joined to try to, uh, try to beat you in the pie contest. Ah, yes, ah. the pie-eating contest. Nobody's signed up yet to take on the mighty Major Crumb. Pity, I'd love to meet another man. Toe to toe on the field of battle. Mano a mano, feasting to the death until the best man wins. Edwina? She thinks she can out-eat the likes of me? Ho ho ho! That's a good one, Private. I'd love to see her staring down the barrel of a ketchup bottle. There's just no way she can win. Impossible. She could never. <laughs> I don't know. Lincoln biscuits. I've been munching on them all day. They're going to fill me up. Private! Attention! Get rid of these vile things! I've got to prepare for battle! My guts must be ready for all the pie I can throw at them if I'm going to crush that woman. She's challenged the wrong man! Battle stations! Is it true that a woman can eat more than a man if she wanted to? Like, isn't that like a fact or something like that? Like, a woman can, like, take in more food and not be full more than a man. Cause I, got, I, I don't know. I think, I, I think a woman can out-eat a man, I think. Anyway, let's go over here. What's the matter? Oh, Did yeah, the dog. Out? This mangy whippet is, is ravaging my roses. Came hurtling out of your master's house with some sort of bone in its mouth. Hmm. It's not a bone. Getting the strays really is the last straw. Now he's gone underground and Lord knows what he's doing to my roots. <coughs> and where's Wallace when I need him? Are there no real men left in this world to protect a woman's property? Um. Don't just stand there. Do something. You're a dog. Can't you reason with him? Here. <laughs> okay. Ah, you did it. Thank goodness. 
You've rid my garden of the nasty little rascal and with little damage. Now be sure it never happens again. I don't <laughs> want to see any more of your canine companions on my property. Do you understand? Jesus. Every dog gets his day. When is Grandma gonna get his day? Okay. That's all we need to do outside. Are you sure? I'm positive. I suppose that lever does look a bit like an old bone, doesn't it? No wonder the crafty canine went and buried it. Give a dog a bone and into the ground it goes. It's their nature. Oh no. Did our fastening nut go missing? It holds the lever in place. It's a critical part of the apparatus, Grommy. Oh, this is no good, lad. That was my last number 12. What rotten luck. Hmm. Hmm? Look at that! He found our nut! Fantastic, Gromit! Eh? Uh, perhaps I was a bit hard on him before. I didn't know the little one had a penchant for tinkering. Oh. Oh, he's just afraid. Heavens above, he's a positively petrified pooch. Poor little lad, we ought to call him Twitch. Okay. Now, I know there's a problem with that dog, right? I'm going to show you the problem, and then I'm going to show you how you uh, solve it. Careful, Gromit. The Infini Flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Okay. If you try to get this lever from the dog while he's standing up, he won't. He won't give it to you. So. If you... Well, that was quick. Can I get it? Oh, Gromit, this machine might not be completely cream cracked after all. Let's have a shifty. Afraid it's still a bit uh, discombobulated, lad. <laughs> Now that we got the lever. Any luck oh, with the mischief makers? He's taking it again. He swiped it again. I give you a little hint saying that they, he liked to collect shiny things. So. Careful, Gromit. The Infini Flavor motor is volatile without its crank. This lever is pretty shiny. Over here is some paint. Maybe if we dip it. Maybe he won't want it. There it is. And now it's ready to make some ice cream. Fantastic, Any flavor Gromit. ice cream. The churn's back on. Well done. Ho, ho, ho. And there we have it, lad. 
uncrossed a few cross wires and our flavour engraver is as good as new. Now we ought to be back in business. Up we go, lads. Nothing can stop our Infini flavour ice cream from taking off now. Huh? Hmm? Bit late for the post, eh? Oh, hello there. Uh, can I help you? Oh, good heavens, no. The question is rather, how can I help you? Name's Muzzle. Monty Muzzle. Philatelist, philosopher, philanthropist, and purveyor of fairground amusement. I hope by now you've heard about Monty Muzzle's Save the Dogs fundraiser fair to be held this weekend. Oh, uh, yes, we have. Uh, Gromit and I were just... Oh, glad to hear it. I was deeply saddened to hear of your recent tragedy, and I'm making it my duty as a dedicated and devoted dog lover to help you all raise the necessary funds to repair your canine shelter. Imagine all those precious animals out on the streets. A tragedy. What a shame for all those dogs. But Gromit and I might have the perfect contribution for the fair. We were just putting the finishing touches on our patent-pending Infini Flavor ice cream machine. Ice cream, you say? Ooh, who doesn't love ice cream? The creamy coldness, the satisfying sweetness, the profit margins. And our, our machine has custom flavor technology. Mm. Its flavor scanner extracts taste molecules from any sample provided. We're able to make limitless varieties to suit any customer. My, that does sound impressive. Oh, bye, Eck, Mr. Walrus. I know a good money-making opportunity when I smell it. What do you say to this? With my financial firepower and your unique ice cream maker, we could put an Infini Flavor retail outlet on every beachfront from Blackpool to Bognor Regis. The world will be your Knickerbocker glory. Franchising. Do you hear that, lad? We could be ice cream barons. If you bring your invention to the fair and manage to make a hefty contribution for this most needed, um, uh, uh, oh yeah, dog shelter. It's a deal. Gromit and I couldn't be more excited. Oh, our in-house creamery assures us peak freshness. Speaking of the dogs, Gromit and I have come across three little lads who need new lodgings. Well, look at that. Aren't they the most precious things you've ever seen? My charity begins now, and I've got the perfect home for them. Yeah, quick-looking devils, too. Well, I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Willard. Walk is. Come on, you. Your new home awaits. Off they go, lad. Say goodbye. Aww. No, I think Grumman wants you to keep it. Be seeing you and your contraption at the fair, Mr. Wallace, and uh, be sure to bring your wallet. <laughs> okay. Roll up, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monty Muzzle's fundraise affair. It fair warms my heart to see so many charitable souls here today. So let me warm yours by selling you a handful of tickets, available for a nominal fee, the proceeds of which will put a smile on the face of a homeless and abandoned puppy. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, them tickets is good for every attraction. You can fry your favorite food, take on a chicken in a game of wits, or ride the mighty muzzler. Every penny goes to charity, every ticket, in short, will wag a tail. I say, Gromit, isn't this a thrill and such a noble cause, rebuilding a shelter for your canine companions? Hmm. Oh, your new chum must have dropped his toy in excitement. 
I bet the little fella's having a grand day out. Probably never been to a fair before. You think so? It's a bit odd. Hey, that must be the remains of one of the flies that was blowing around this morning. Can't abide litter, so I tore it up and offered it as slips of paper to the punters. You tore it up? Here are some tickets, lad. Go and find your friends and have some fun. Ho ho ho! Huh. Sorry, that's my phone. Phone's dying, so I put it up to the laptop. B. Have a pie to enter, do you? Give it here, and I'll get to it in due time. Quite the turnout of entries I've got. Bound to find a master of ceremonies in here somewhere. Okay. Strawberry rhubarb with cream. Uh, not a terrible texture, but a horrendous pie. Oh, oh. strawberry rhubarb reminds me of me Auntie Mildred. And what an horrible old shrew she was, always force-feeding me with her horrid confectionery disasters. Oh, good heavens. What rotten memories. Okay. Can I go on stage? Hey there, you meddling mutt. What are you doing up on this stage? Get down at once. I'm the only one allowed up on stage. The only other person allowed to disport themselves on my stage is the master of ceremonies of the grand pie-eating contest. And somehow I don't think with your limited canine brain, You'll be able to create a pie deliciously mouth-watering enough to win the Bake Off and receive that honor. So if you don't mind, sling your blinking hook. Me and the Master of Ceremonies, i.e. not you, Big Ears. I don't like you. Nobody toss a grommet that way. Nobody. My happy childhood of eating fish and chips. <laughs> Ah, I like the music. Okay. What a man! Selfless, heroic, charitable. Hello, Gromit. Enjoying the fair? Must be easy to enjoy such simple pleasures when you're a dog. Not knowing the pain of unrequited love. You just wander through life, sniffing and scratching your way to happiness, while I must endure the loneliness of living without a man worthy of my hand. Oh. But then there is Mr. Muzzle, raising all of those funds for our poor homeless pups. I've never seen such altruism in all my years. He may be of meager means himself, but he's rich in other ways. Oh, and what a handsome partner he'd make. Certainly compared to the rest of the town's buffoons. Are there no real men here worthy of the name? I want someone strong, brilliant and brave to lavish me with praise. For instance, I had my hair done this morning. 
And did anyone notice? Not one of them. I had your hair done this morning. Had he not been so busy? But what does a woman have same. to do to attract attention? You got your hair done the same way you always wear it. Of course, ain't nobody gonna know. 114, 115, 116. Hmm. Let's see. Count this row across. Assume that the jar is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. Can't be certain. Trying to figure out how many in there? I've been keeping my tallies on the back of this flyer for hours, Drummond. It's not leaving my sight until I've a grand prize in my hands. Look at them all. Heaven knows how many there are in there. Hmm. Whoa -hey! See, the Major's having fun. <laughs> Will it fry? Can't fry the book. Hey. Wisdom from the other side. Just can I find the right plumbing words? For what? Ah, oh, just look at her. Loitering around that monkey muzzle's booth of accomplishments. She's smitten, she is. By him. Disgusting. Makes me so angry, I could blow me top. Ooh, Why don't you go over there and tell us how you muzzle. feel? I'm the most charitable, sensitive gentleman there ever was. I'm a blooming hero. Fair. Big pile of wet less, if you ask me. And what do you want, hmm. but can't you see I'm working here? She wants a sensitive man, does she? Well, that's what Miss Flit will be getting. I'm composing her a poem. Near finished too, except for the last line. Got the whole thing memorized, even. I just cannot write the ending. Dearest Felicity, your eyes are as deep as the murkiest law. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool rock. Your haunches are sturdy. Your bearing is bold. Ugh, I've got nothing. Look at me. Talking to a dog. Ah, going crazy, yarn, McBiscuit. Now, moggy off and let a man work. Okay. Maybe I can help. Imagine your life with less strife. A chicken back there. I can see it flapping its wings. All right, yeah, create a clairvoyant codfish. Let's see what you have to see. Ah. Cravens, what a bunch of rubbish! <laughs> hmm. Maybe we can give it a go. She was talking about her hair. Your hair could be mistaken for an abandoned puppy. No. Common cold. No. Something old. Pirate's gold. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Let's see if this fortune's got anything useful for my poem. Yeah, my poem could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Ah, that's no half bad, that is. I just work. I'm a blinking genius, I am. No need for these rotten lines. I've got a perfect one right here. Go get him. Hello there, Felicity. Oh, hello, Duncan. You look ravishing today. Here you go, Wallace, oh, in the background. Cute, Duncan. <laughs> in fact, I've written you a poem in honor of your astounding beauty. What? You've written a poem? Every last word. <laughs> Wallace. Really? 
Well, let's hear it then. <clears throat> Dearest <laughs> Felicity, your eyes are as deep as the murkiest loch. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool Rock. Your haunches are sturdy. Oh, I can hear them. is bold, and your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. I don't know what to say. Brilliant, eh? You, you, you noticed my hair. I did. Oh, Duncan, who could have guessed you're so sensitive and attentive to detail? Aye, my rugged Highland handsomeness may fool some, but inside, I'm nothing more than a caring and loving lamb. Come here, my little sugar plum fairy. Caring and loving lamb that's been rolling around in the barnyard too long if my nose isn't mistaken. Oh, oh that's just my unique musk. Let's go down and stare longingly into each other's eyes. I guess they have to go boom, bang, bang. Okay. Are you smarter than a chicken? Let's find out. Win a fish. Fish and chips. Man. Hmm. Hold up. One more time. I used to know a way to always win this. Okay. Do you fancy a cone, Gromit? I don't know, do I? No, not right now. Mm -hmm. There you are, you coochie coos, you! Ah, the missus says I need more mates, does she? Well, I've got the birds in sky and bugs on sill to keep me company. You won't find me making up numbers at some flipping fair. Good, because you're not invited. Here, birdie. Come to Papa Gabberly. Okay. Three, well, hold on, what? what? Okay, so there's three, there's 300, there's 300 gumballs. Go, go. Bird seeds. Uh. Let's go back. If you come back home, you can make a pie. To enter in the contest. Well, not really enter in the contest, but to make a pie that he'll like so that it can be in the contest. Um, potato pie. Why? Because he said that his favorite food was fish and chips. Come back outside. 
Especially down at the house. One hundred nineteen, one hundred twenty, one hundred twenty-one. Uh, Don't think a little teamwork is against the rules, eh? Yeah, you have a go. Two ninety-three. That seemed like it could almost be right, Gromit. Cross your toes, lad. These are the last of the tickets. Congratulations! You are the winner of a grand and fantabulous prize. My egg, we did it! Fantastic! We've won, Gromit! Congratulations, sir. Very well done. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mosul. Quite a bit of brain power it did. So, what's the grand and fantabulous prize then, Mr. Mosul? I must say, I can't wait to see what I've won. Yes, well, um, yeah, just as it's always better to give than receive, um, I say the satisfaction of your triumph, plus our undying gratitude for the charitable donation you've made towards our noble cause, our prizes in and of and um, by themselves, wouldn't you say, Mr. Paneer? Chuck. Well, they're all very well, but I thought... Prizes that last a lifetime. Up here, and in here. But, but, but what the sign says? Oh, quit bellyache in your big girl's blouse. <laughs> oh, um, it's hardly fitting for a gentleman <laughs> such as yourself. Here, have a blinking bubble gum ball. But, but... Oh, all right. And one for the mutt as well. Sorry. There was no prize. You know, for a second there, I thought that was him crying about it. <laughs> I don't really fancy chewing gum. Too bad. You had to put it in your mouth and chew it. Thank you, chicken. Some very, some really hot trained chickens. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that would taste very good, would it, lad? I mean, fish flavored ice cream. Who ever heard of such a thing? Unless you were. Uh, haven't made a new feline friend, have you, perchance? Oh, well, uh, yes, then. Uh, one fish-flavored ice cream coming up. Uh, step to it, lad. Okay, now we got a fish flavor ice cream. Oh, wait a sec. Will this pie <laughs> fry? What is this when it's at all? Oh, rhubarb with a hint of dirt and diesel. Mm. Oh, this looks a bit different. A familiar flaky crust. My, my, my. Oh, could it be?
Oh. Mm. Oh, yes, this is more like it. What a belter this one is. Oh, a crisp outside with a warm potato inside. Oh, this takes me back to my days as a boy. But, but it, it, it's still missing something. Some key flavour from it past. Now, still, I'll, I'll hold on to your entry as provisional for now. If you think of something to give it that definitive je ne sais what, go back <coughs> and I'll consider it. Until uh, then, the competition's still open. Okay. Well, bam! Ah. ah. A new addition to your shocking previous entry. Ah. I have no doubt that you almost certainly cheated, but without actual proof. I'll have to let that pass. Let's see how you did. Why, uh, this is, uh, yes, yes, resplendent. I've never tasted a pie quite like this. A savoury crust, enhanced by a one-of-a-kind flavour, if I am not mistaken, of lightly battered cod. Oh, yeah. Your entry triggers deep and happy memories. Oh, I can see myself as a slip of a lad behind the counter in my mother's chippy. I'm the happiest lad there's ever been, eating complimentary portions of freshly fried North Sea cod and chips. Stupendous! How you did it, dog, I'll never know. But you've won. Congratulations! Yeah. The first beast to become the master of ceremonies of the pie-eating contest. I'll be meeting you on stage then. Time to get this pie-eating contest underway. And with that, we got the last piece of the map. Gather round, ladies and gentlemen, gather round. Our first order of business is to celebrate this fine figure of a dog as winner of the pie baking contest. That's a boy, Chuck. I knew you could do it. Hey! <laughs> and to honor this achievement, Fido Ear will preside as master of ceremonies of the pie eating contest to commence shortly. I'm here! The Major doesn't stand a chance. Ha! I once ate a kidney pie the size of a Shetland pony, and I had room for dessert and coffee. Your starter's pistol, doggo. You ate too much. And now, I'd just like to say a few words. Where are me blinking notes? Mm, you were up here just a minute ago. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, um... It's not every day that tragedy strikes a helpless town like this. But I'm most honoured to be here in your moments of need to help you all collect enough funds to rebuild the orphanage. Um, uh, that is, uh, the orphanage for lost dogs. And I'm delighted to say that I haven't seen such an outpouring of charitable giving among fairgoers since, well, since, uh, 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 since uh, uh, the Great Lancashire Earthquake of, uh, oh, let me see now, uh, uh, some, uh, yes, some years ago. I don't remember hearing about that. Ah, uh, oh, dreadful it was. Teapots tossed from their cozies. Sheep shaken right out of their fleeces. Most dreadful indeed. So, keep up the good work here today and be sure to spend, spend, spend at our wonderful attractions as it's all in such a very, very good cause. Now, without further ado, uh, Colonel Crumbs and uh, Mrs. Gobbledygook uh, will go head to head in the pie eating contest. Now, Mutt, pull the trigger. <laughs> Save the dog's help inside the head. The machine. The muzzler. 
Muzzer, 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 muzzer. Oh no! Bye, it's been a busy week. Just one good deed after another. First, I uh, takes in three homeless hounds, then out to town. Do gooders, cough up the cash for a noble cause. <laughs> yeah. And now I've trapped me a tricksy little trespasser. Now listen here, mutt. I built this fair up from the sweat of me brow and a pile of scrap. And if you think I'm gonna let a molly-coddled mongrel chuck a spanner in the works, you don't know Monty Muzzle. Aye, your time on wheel comes soon enough. And being man's best friend, you wouldn't want to stop the ride and disappoint your punters now, would you? But until it's your turn, you can blink him well, stay put. Oh, and don't start whining and yelping for help. You'll have my security system to deal with if you don't keep the noise down. I hate him. Truly. A disgusting villain. What is it? What's going on in here? Up to something in here, are we? Down, mutt. It's not your dinner time yet. Hmm. Seems to have been a false alarm. But I'll be back in here at the drop of a hat if there's any monkey business. What's going on here? What's all the racket about? Oh, another blinking dead dog. Another? The Workshire whelp hadn't even been for walkies yet. <laughs> Pity. Ah, oh, get off me, you filthy beast. Oh, oh. That'll be an extra few hours pulling duty for you. No more out of you. You got the key, good boy. Okay, give it here. Oh, come on, boy. Play dead. Now we can get out. Dog food? That chicken is gonna hear us. Luckily, I got some bird seeds. <laughs> Be careful, Grandma. Jade. Can't open it. Do we got anything? Mm, go back down.
I think I saw a tool box. Yes. Aww. Hmm. Fortune cookies. Some grease. I know just what to do with this stuff. That dog likes to dig, right? And over here, the planks are moved out the way and there's some dirt right there. So, if we toss the fortune cookie over here, it's not for you. Use this wrench, it looks like a bone. Oi! We're slowing down already! Muscle! Your blinking ride's not fit for service! Blinking engine must have, uh, um, <laughs> died again. Ah! There we go. Thank you, boy. I've already put the grease on them. Oh, hello, Twitch. Uh, Gromit was looking for you. Enjoying the fair? Oh, I see. You'd like to have a go on the ride? Well, I don't know. Where the heck's Gromit? He should be showing you around. No, well, I suppose I can take a break. Let's go. I don't know if they let dogs on board, Twitch. Steady on. I know it's not fair, Twitch, but we can always ask. Easy there, boy. Got quite a bit of strength for a little fella. Blinking Nora. You mean poor Gromit's inside the ride? What happened, lad? Monty Muzzle? Heavens above. Uh, Twitch, you better stay out of sight. I've got to see about getting Mr. Muzzle to shut down his ride. Well, this part is pretty simple. All you gotta do. Hang on, let me check his inventory. We need to go back in town. One it's last not... bite, and another pie is gobbled by Gabbily. That blooming Bobby has been up there for an hour or more and won't get off. 
said he'd carry him out an inspection. But he won't find anything untoward on any of my rides. Everything's above board here. Oh, uh, 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 of course. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Your rides had a spot of mechanical trouble, I see. Oh, no, no, that, 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 that's nothing. Um, purely cosmetic. Um, the, uh, um, uh, inner mechanics still run like clockwork. Ooh. Had to institute a weight limit, though. Uh, don't want any heavy hands bringing things to a halt. No, of course not. Like I said. What you want to do with Wallace? You want to come back in town and get a balloon? A balloon? Always uh, good for a lift. The contest hasn't ended yet. Why, no, it's a last man <clears throat> woman standing competition. Oh, who's winning? <clears throat> As if you had to ask, man. <laughs> by my count, the current leader by a thick crust is Mrs. Gabalee. Hogwash! Woohoo! Mmm! And I'm relishing every bite! <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. We'll see about that. Mr. Wallace, would you mind bringing Paneer this slip of paper here when you've a moment? Righto. Oh, yeah, look at these. The would be chopping champion continues to shovel pie down his gullet. But the Major seems to have met his match in Vinny, the Wonder Nosher. Where did those blighters come from? Who's been pilfering our pies? These aren't yours, Major. Oh, um, why they could be, I suppose. Oh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? Oh, my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these appetizers here. And Major Crumb has just learned that Mrs. Gabberley is in the lead by a most devastating pie margin. Oh, not feeling too tickety-boo right now. I... I think I might have been out by the enemy. And it seems the Major <laughs> might be giving up, though he's only nine pies behind. Nine? That's it! I capitulate! I surrender! Hoist the white napkin of chronic pie fatigue! Yippee! Down <laughs> goes the major! Out for the count! At a boy, Mrs. Dad, Gabby. I love this. Congratulations! Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you like pies, Paneer's Purveyors of Peculiar Produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie-eating needs. I can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show my face in the officer's mess again. <laughs> never mind, Major Crumb. You guzzled gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps a man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF ride, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I must have put on five stone. Hello, Wallace. Excuse me, Paneer. Mrs. Gabberley wanted me to give you this. Ah, must be a message to read out for the fair. <clears throat> All attendants are invited to Vinnie Gabberley's victory celebration to be held later this evening at the house of Gabberley. Major Crumb is invited only if humbled by defeat. How could I have let this happen? Disgraced on the field of battle. <laughs> I love this show.
Hello, Duncan. Miss Flit. What do you use, Wank Wallace? Uh, well, I, I don't know how to say this, but... Ah, uh... oh, come on! Don't be it! Duncan, let the poor man speak! I think Mr. Muzzle has dognapped Gromit. Dognapped? <laughs> oh, that's a good one! You mean to tell me the old Monty Muzzle, the charitable dog lover and second most sensitive, caring man at the fair, has swiped your mutt? Ha! Now that's rich! Oh, uh, yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, but. Uh... Really, Wallace? It's not very charitable of you to be spreading rumours like that. Uh, 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 well, never mind then. I have enough to um, progress with the story, but I kind of want to talk to everybody. Too heavy? Balderdash! I was only on her this morning. Oh, just a ah, limit, I'm afraid, Corporal Crumb. You must have piled on pounds since then. That blinking contest? And I'm a major, don't you know? Aye, a major liability. So, you're banned, for safety's sake. Perhaps go for a jog or summit, and work off some of that extra weight. <laughs> and remember, whether you want pakora, pies, puddings, or pomegranates, they're all available at Hania's Peculiar Produce, just two minutes walk from this fairground. There is one more thing I forgot to do. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned from it. That's right. Hello, Boris. What are you doing, Wallace? Anir's peculiar produce for all your favorite foodstuffs and some you probably never knew existed. Excuse me, Mr. Premier. Wallace, if you'd like a word, please come up on stage. Hello, Wallace. Uh, a note, uh. Mr. Premier. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Hmm. That's odd. Stop the ride! That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Duty calls. Sweet to savory, pickled to preserve, and fresh to frozen. Vanier's peculiar produce has it all. Plus, we also sell umbrellas, beach balls, indoor barbecue equipment, and a full range of domestic fire extinguishers. How much pie did you eat, Major? Not enough, clearly. That old granny has a devilish appetite, probably possessed by a parasite or two family of tapeworms living inside her, I shouldn't wonder. And now... now come on now, let's like not be nasty. Right. Oh, what a pity. Over the limit, I'm afraid. Bureaucratic nonsense. Never used to fret about namby-pamby weight restrictions in the army. We'd cram 20 men in a truck, three on a bicycle, five in a bunk. But you're only slightly too heavy, Major. Yeah. So I'll stand here till I've dropped the weight. With a finely tuned <laughs> metabolism like mine, I'll burn it off in a few short hours. Let's have a look. Bah! Now, I don't know if this is true, but watch this. Hang on, I'm dropping my headphones all over the place. I'm gonna give him a balloon. A balloon, Major Crumb? Who doesn't love a festive balloon? Used to tie the old balloon to our knapsacks when we were in the You're long what? grass to distinguish ourselves from the enemy. Uh, perhaps you're ready for the ride now. You might be right. 
I'm feeling lighter on my feet already. Mm, is that true? Weight limit bus. How is that possible? I'm not, I'm not good at science. Chucked away! Cabin doors to manual. Ready for takeoff. Blam! Yeah. Or magic. I don't know how that works. Major Crumbs carrying too much excess baggage. The ride's going to burst in seams. We've been hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor dogs were trapped inside of that dreadful machine the Rob entire it. time. Rob it. Are you all right, lad? Where is that monster, Monty Muscle? He was just here a moment ago. Up, up and away. Up, up and away. Hi, what are you doing? What is that? It's Monty Muscle. I'm your money. I'm Twitch. I'm Twitch. Twitch. Monty Muzzle stock is on the rise. Give us back the door. No time to jettison the green grommet. We don't do floats. What'll it be, lad? One scoop or two. Oh, good show, Muzzle, old chap. Not exactly what I planned, but a clean escape, nevertheless. A few quid and one unexpected runt richer. What do you say, boys? Think we can find work for this emaciated mongrel? That's what I thought. We're coming to save you, Twitch. Oh, Knickerbocker Glory! He's got a head start, lad. We've got <laughs> to find a way to close the gap. I got an idea. Shed some pounds. I wonder what could have been that heavy. We puncture free lead line tires. Those didn't come cheap, you know. And how are we going to land without any undercarriage? Huh. Look, we're gaining on him. Oh, I forgot to put it back. The crank needs to be in place for churning, Gromit. I know, hang on. I got the worst memory ever. I've had its work cut out with that batch. Whew. Things are getting a bit sticky back there. Pass some bubble gum. No, no, no. Chew on this. Hey, looks like we've sold out of all our cones. That's good news. Direct hit, lad. Hey, now he's up a gum tree. We'll catch him now. Look at my engine, will they? I can still outrun them with the wind at me back. <laughs> hey, hey, they've run out of lift. Ah, sorry, my little twitching bag of bones, but no one's coming to save you now. Guess again. Ah. Blasted engine. Where do you think you're going with that? Eh, fine then. Let go! Escape me, a flea-ridden friend! Don't worry, I still got some bird seeds! Ha! Hey, easy, easy! You've already been fed today! Ow! Get away! Stay away! Now, listen, chickens! Ah! Ooh! What? 
Let's go, Twitch! Lucky crab, Gromit! Let's get out of here! Oh, oh. We won't scoop too many, lad! Oh no, Gromit! Brace for impact! Oh, ah! Gromit! Help, Gromit! Muzzle's mustache has gone flat! Okay, calm down. This is all your fault, dog. Yeah? Steal from me? Yeah? Monty Muzzle? That's not how it works, sunshine! Don't lose that arm, Gromit. Nothing a little glue can't fix. I've got to save what I can. Give that back right now! Oh, you want the money? Here! Take it! What are you doing? Come get it! You want the money, right? If you want your master to take you for walkies ever again, you'll be very careful with that! Oh, I'll be careful, careful with it. I said! Come get it! Oh, yes! Morning. Oh, my beautiful money! Help. Look at the legs on that We're chicken. Still falling, lad. Don't worry. No, no, no. Move, chicken. Woo! Quick. We could do with some more, eh? It should hold us for just long enough. They might have flown too high and suffocated in the atmosphere. That is game. Happened to many a bomber in the war. And all to save a poor defenseless puppy. <laughs> Who would have thought Wallace was so selfless and brave? Aye, but more importantly, that blank and fear grew. You guys watch this, I got a cash. Oh! He's due a shot in the mouth and a kick in the head. Honestly, Duncan, the last thing we need is more violence. We need heroes! Look! By Zeus's beard! What on earth is that? It's a giant mustache! Ah, oh, I've seen beggar! You're alive! Uh, yes, and saved by a whisker. Something of a close shave, eh, Gromit? Oh ho! These poor pups won't go homeless after all, Gromit. Me and Mr. Gabley would be thrilled to take them in. No, we wouldn't. Pipe down, you misery guts. Great. Yet another mouth to feed. Three mouths. Oh, no. Anyway, Gromit, feel free to pop by for walkies any time you like. Your friends will always be here. Ooh, that little one's quite the hero. Have to keep him out of trouble from now on. Wallace! Oh, that was a feat of incredible bravery. Oh, it was nothing, Miss Flit, really. All in a day's work for Gromit and me. Couldn't let Muzzle run off with our Twitch now, could we? A man like you is one in a million, Wallace. Your courage, your... Selflessness, your aerial acrobatics. You could have been killed, yet you saved the poor whippets, apprehended the monstrous Monte Muzzle, and saved everyone's fortunes. You're a true hero to the town. Oh, um, well, uh, um, thank you very much, Miss Flit. Mm hmm. Uh, now, if only I could find the piece I that... I feel the... a little awkward asking you this, Wallace, but I was wondering 
<laughs> With a bit of elbow grease, I'm sure Gromit and I can have this up and running again by Christmas. Boris, I... I have a proposal for no, you. Oh, I wonder where this goes. Oh, Wallace! Uh, yes? A proposal and a ring! How... how... Oh, shocking! I beg your pardon, Miss Flint. Oh, and so polite. Now, calm yourself, Felicity. Will I, Felicity Flint, marry you, Wallace? What? Now, pull yourself together, Felicity, my girl. You mustn't rush into this. I'm honoured that you would have me as your bride, Wallace. But I must think it over. I shall give you my answer within the week. All right, guys. We're on our last episode of Wallace and Gromit Grand Adventure. The Boogeyman. <laughs> Nice shot. It, it's my turn, Gromit. It's always your turn. Oh, oh dear, Gromit. I must stop eating no. cheese last no. thing. It's given me terrible dreams. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, last night, I dreamt I'd accidentally become engaged to our neighbor, Miss Flit. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine? That was no dream. It's even in the news. What's this? Oh, no, lad. <laughs> so it wasn't a bad dream after all. It's a real life flipping nightmare. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> At the fair, I found that lug nut and she thought it was a... Oh, my kitty aunt. Talk about matrimonial misunderstandings. You've got to do something, Gromit. Uh, no. I've got to do something. I must go and speak to Miss Flit at once. I apologize and explain it was all a terrible mistake. I'm sure Miss Flit will understand... She'll probably be relieved when she learns I wasn't proposing marriage after all. It's not as if we've much in common. <laughs> she likes dogs. Well, you like dogs. I suppose there's nothing for it but to, uh. Ooh. Oh, Major Crumb. Yes? Ah, morning, Wallace. I've come about a professional matter of the utmost delicacy and secrecy. You have? Oh, wonderful. Uh, step into my consulting room and tell me all about it. Seems I'm going to be tied up for a while, Gromit. Uh, on business, uh, why don't you go and put your ear to the ground and find out how the land lies next door? Hmm. Well, we're going to need to grab a couple of things before we do that. You're detectives, aren't you? Registered and certified. Then you're precisely the men I need for the job. And I hope we, if there's any information gathering to be done, my eavesdropper is just the tool for it. Eavesdropper? I like the sound of it. But you need to be... I suppose we can start hunting for clues with my super clue snooper. Capital idea. Uh, still... And if they put the thumb screws on you, Wallace... Oh, uh, Gromit and I would never divulge your professional secret. Good man! Now, have you got all you need to get started? Uh, not quite everything. Dash it, what more can I tell you? This <laughs> opt...
Great Aunt Prudence, you came so quickly. Of course, Felicity. An urgent summons from one's only living relative and heir to one's fortune can mean only one thing. Man trouble. Now, who is the blighter this time? I'll box his ears if he's been toying with your affections. Oh, no, no trouble as such, Aunt Prudence. But, well, there has been an important development on the matrimonial front which... <laughs> Pardon me, Aunt Prudence. I think I spy an ugly little intruder. I positively loathe fungi. Come, let's go inside for a cup of tea. Have you come, my old child? Man trouble always makes me hackles rise and my petticoats fluster. <laughs> I love how you are. All right, then let's uh, use this gadget. In his spare time, he likes to tinker a little. Tinker? Yes, um, inventions and such like. A handyman. Mum, you'll obviously have to put a stop to the inventing. Certainly not in the house. Can't be tolerated. Oh, oh no. Far too messy and intrusive. Hmm. Well, I think you've told me all I need to hear. And so? So long as he doesn't leave his contraptions lying around all over the house, he sounds a very suitable suitor. So our engagement has your blessing? I don't see why not. Unless... Yes? Unless, of course, well, he's not, he's not a member of that place, is he? That appalling country club whose name alone makes me shudder. You mean Prickly Thicket? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, heavens, child, you know our family history. We flits have never associated with those dreadful Prickly Thicketers. <laughs> oh, you needn't worry, Aunt Prudence. Well, this is the prickly thicket type. Well, if you don't want to get married, who's going to be? Let's head into town. Morning, Mr. Paneer. Constable Dibbins. Delivering the mail as well this morning? Aye, Posty's off sick. He's got the mumps and I've got the ump. Sorry to hear that. Her Majesty's mail must be delivered, and PC Ernest Dibbins has never shrunk from duty, even when such duties aren't even part of his blinking job description. Here's your post. Ah, couldn't help but notice the coat of arms, Mr. Paneer. A prickly thicket, isn't it? Happen. So, you remember then? Hmm? Oh, aye, aye. Practically my second home. Is it now? Sorry about that, That's a very interesting coincidence. I was just saying to myself the other day, Ernest Dibbins, it's time you joined a... Oh, my! Excuse me, Constable. What are you staring at? Get along now. What's your problem? Closed by order of the law, and all on account of a teeny tiny mouse. Oof, ridiculous, really. But you know Constable Dibbins, he'll let a lot of things go, but he's a stickler when it comes to vermin. Oh, is that right? Hey up, hey up, grommets! Hey up, hey up! I couldn't help noticing that little item in the society section. The one about your master and Miss Flit. It's true then. Been keeping it a secret though, sly devils. Mm -mm. Wonder who's in the jail cell. 
Hey, you're the mutt what's responsible for my incarceration, aren't you? No hard feelings, mate. Come here. I've got a little present for you. Oh, no, you're not. You're not finna strangle Grummet. Gee, Grummet! Back off. Where'd you come from? Caught him trying to nick your letter. The important one from ahem, Prickly Thicket. Oh, that's only the envelope. I've got the letter here. Not bad news, I trust. Oh no, quite the reverse. It's my turn to propose a new member. Is it really? Well, I never. It's a heavy responsibility. Not everyone's cut out to be a Prickly Thicketer. The candidate must be a gentleman of impeccable character. Someone who's always there for a friend in need. A pillar of the community. And, of course, a sportsman. Going to be a long search? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, the ideal candidate might be, uh, somebody who's very close to you. Oh? Aye. Somebody who's right in front of your nose, in fact. Ah, yes, of course. You mean Mr. Wallace, my near neighbor and one of my best <laughs> customers. Wallace? He's no blinking sportsman. He don't know one end of a golf club from oh, the other. Yeah. Well, that's true. And he's hardly a pillar of the community, like... Like who? Mr. Paneer. My dear Mr. Paneer. Who? Watches over this town centre like a shepherd watches his flock. Who sees to it that everybody stays on the straight and narrow? Oh, you mean you? <laughs> but don't forget, you forgot to find me after that business with the bad bangers last month. Only on account of me soft heart. It's me only failing. But don't start getting ideas. I'll let you off with a warning once, but just once. Of course, Constable. Now, you better start getting these crates put away. They're blocking a public thoroughfare. Oh dear, not more crates. Good day, Mr. Paneer. I'll leave you to uh, think things out. Out of my way, you. Don't suppose you could use a few crates of super sticky nut butter, can you? I ordered five tubs, but the daft a perfect warehouse put me down for 500. How am I supposed to shift 500 tubs of super sticky nut butter? Wait a minute. Take this home to your master. Free sample, courtesy of Paneer's produce. If you don't like it, you can always use it to fill in cracks before decorating. Okay. Uh... Constable Dibbins seems to be taking quite an interest in you this morning. Oh, yes. We're great chums, we are. He does me little favours, and I do the same for him. Is that so? Have you got my, uh... Here. Extreme pudding. Been looking forward to this issue. There's supposed to be an in-depth feature on the merits of natural rubber grips versus synthetic. Hello? What's this? Blinking Nora. Is that who I think it is? Well, I'll be. That's our Wallace, that is. Rookie of the Year. I didn't even know he played golf. Oh, he's a man of mystery and no mistake. The constable was just saying what a rotten sportsman Wallace is. Who will be eating his words when he sees that? Yes. What you thinking, Pat? Oh, nothing. The constable's still the best choice. After all, he's been very good to me. Mm, must be nice to have friends in high places. Whirly whirly. 
Come get some. Yeah, get in there. Your master didn't want it, is that what you're saying? I put it there with the others. I'll move it inside when I've cleared some space. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Can't really leave these crates in the street all day. Ah, my good friend Panea. Glad to see you're doing your civic duty. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wouldn't want to presume on our friendship. That's why I've always respected you, Mr. Paneer. Never want to take advantage of powerful friends. You know, when push comes to shove, the law must be obeyed. Honor, duty and golf. That's the prickly thicket motto. And a fine motto it is. A motto I could easily live by if, say, someone were to invite me to join the club. Say no more, Constable. I thought it over and... Dinky uh... neck! Crikey! What kind of trick is this? Trick? Uh, no trick. Just a little mix-up. Optical illusion. If you'll just turn the other way for a moment, I'll... Turn the other way? I am an officer of the law, Mr. Panea. But our friendship... <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Panea, but vermin's vermin. And vermin trumps friendship every time. <laughs> so, that's how it's going to be, is it? Constable Gibbons, <laughs> this is a pleasant surprise. Uh, what brings you to, uh... Here, package for you. What do you suppose this is about? It's from Prickly Thicket. Well, I never. They're inviting me to become a member. And they've even enclosed the club's official tank top. Imagine that, lad. A country club. Ho oh, ho! Oh, uh, we're going up in the world, eh, Gromit? Looking good. Who's that? Miss oh. Flit. Please, Wallace. You needn't be so formal. Not after yesterday. Call me. Felicity. Uh, yes. Uh, about oh, yesterday. Yes. I did leave you hanging in suspense, rather, didn't I? <laughs> Not in me. But I do have an answer for you now. Uh, you, you, you do? I couldn't take a step of this magnitude without first consulting my great aunt Prudence. And you'll be delighted to know oh, uh -huh. she has given us her blessing. Isn't that wonderful? Her only caveat. <laughs> and it's almost too ridiculous to mention. <laughs> is that she forbids us to marry if, <laughs> if you're a member of... <gasps> Reject the sticky picket That's a ball of cursed cricket We tell all the sports to stick it Golf for us is just the ticket Hurrah! Hurrah for prickly thicket! Brother Wallace is duly sworn in in co-conformance with prickly protocol Devil if I care why I had to be Wallace, but what's done's done. Welcome to the club, Wallace. We await the opening whack. Swing the club, you tube! Okay. Are you doing 
Whoops. Yes. <laughs> <didn't. laughs> Stop in the name of the law. I hereby announce that in violation of municipal bylaw number 486, as relating to sports and social clubs, use of this club is to be closed forthwith. This is most irregular. Bylaw state, and I quote. Every registered golf and country club must be in possession of no fewer than one fully functioning golf course. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, by uh, right, by law. Pardon if I'm a bit, uh, shaky on the upswing, but are you saying that uh, we don't actually have a golf course? Not at the moment, anyway. Had one once. Dashed fine one it was, too. But uh, the deed was lost. Somewhere within the walls of this club. Some little time ago. 1649? Rotten year. It's a long and terrible story. It's history. And as of tomorrow morning, prickly thicket will be history too. Enjoy your last day at the club, gentlemen. Well, there's only one thing for it, I reckon. Like the booby Bobby said, let's enjoy our last day at the club. Capital idea. Perhaps I can get a game of chess in before tea. I still need to work on me cushion technique. Uh, pardon me, but but PC Dibbins is going to shut Prickly Thicket Golf Club because it hasn't got a golf course. Oh, that's that's what he says. Says. cheek. And it hasn't got a golf course because the deed proving its existence is lost. Yes, deed. Aye, that's right. Well, then. There's nothing for it but to find the deal. Easier said than done, bloody. Prickly Thicketers have been searching for centuries. Impossible quest, Wallace. Impossibilities are our speciality at Golden Retrieval. <laughs> of course. Now I remember. That's what I hired you fellows to find. The deed to Prickly Thicket Golf Course. Mm. The clue finder. Ought to come in handy for finding clues. Head up to. Could this be a clue? Maybe. Only the man who has mastered the Ganges and made the impossible Ganges. shot is worthy to pocket the porcelain key that will slide in the porcelain slot. Somebody's As to the Ganges? Does that mean the river? Or could it mean it? Could it mean what? Nothing. Just a silly superstition. I'm still missing a clue or two. Yeah, you're missing two more. Which is right here. Eureka! A clue! The golden key shall only be obtained by him who earned it. The golfer who, without a clue, took up the game and learned it. To hook and slice is never nice, unless ye have direction. A book depicts, in stages six, the order of perfection. Aha! I've got it now! You have? Rook to pawn three! There's bound to be a clue nearby. What's this? Behold the foolish puppy dog, he keepeth very busy. He seeketh for the silver key, and spinneth till he's dizzy. The hours pass, he stoppeth not, in daytime nor in nighttime. Methinks he'll findeth not his prize, until you see the right time. Lincoln, Nora, this is a riddle and no mistake. <laughs> Call that poetry, Wallace. I think it's a clue, Major Crumb. A clue indeed. A clue I know how to solve. Oh, Wallace. Hang on. We need to go back to the house.
can't Come take it. tea today, love. Prickly thickets on a bit of a sticky wicket. And only golden retrieval can save the day. Grab our detection kit and let's... What's up, Chuck? Oh, no. Uh, uh, good afternoon, ladies. Uh, is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> Wallace! Oh, um, um, oh dear me. My grandniece is a tender-hearted girl, Mr. Wallace. She hates to see a man ruin his life. Uh, I don't believe I've had the pleasure, Mrs. Uh... It's Miss Flit, actually. And I make it a rule never to shake hands with individuals who belong to certain organizations. <laughs> Golf is a barbaric practice, Mr. Wallace. Those caught in its snares inevitably descend into squalor, destitution, and madness. It's all there in this little booklet. Save yourself, Wallace! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just came home to get my tools, ladies. Oops, I dropped me eavesdropper. It's okay, we don't need it. <laughs> Always handy to have a spanner to hand. Alright, well, I'm out of here. See ya. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot the milk. Since no one's drinking it, I'm going to take it. A glass of milk? Makes a change for the sort of tipple you imbibe at your club, I'll venture. Very good. Drink your milk. At least that's a wholesome activity. Oh, do you think it will restore his senses, our prudence? There's always hope. Yeah, keep on hoping. I've enjoyed our little chat, Miss Flit. Oh, and a great pleasure meeting you, Miss Flit. Uh, but, uh, Mustache? Please, try to turn your life around, Wallace. Calm down. <laughs> uh, awfully pressed for time, Gromit. <laughs> Would you mind attending to our guests? <laughs> Clean out, please. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shut up in there. I'm going. Bye. Oh, wait. No, wait, wait, go back. Oh, well, it's too late. Uh, well, I want to go back. Hang on, I want to go back. I want Wallace to see the squirrel. You know all about hidden objects, don't you? <laughs> what in heaven's name happened to him? <laughs> I don't know why, I just think that's funny. <laughs> well, <laughs> Grandma did that to him. <laughs> I love his reaction to it. What never's How do, Wallace? How goes your first and last day at your new club? Shut up. Uh, afraid I can't quite make out what you're saying. <laughs> The missus had some of that Mr. Bernier's fancy nut butter. Now she can't open a gob. Oh dear. Sticky situation that. Ha 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 ha! I know! Wonder if he's got any more! I got you covered. Here you are, Mrs. Gabberly. This ought to do the trick. Oh, I can talk again. Now look what you've done, Wallace. 
And I'll have a few choice words for you tonight. <laughs> I wonder, Mrs. Gavily, uh, would you mind awfully if I uh, dip the handle of my golf club into your sticky nut butter? If it will help you with your detective work, help yourself. I want nothing more to do with the stuff. That didn't sound Much right. obliged. <laughs> that sentence was just so... Yeah. <laughs> now then, about the Ganges grip. I was wondering... You're holding the blinking club upside down. Give me that. The trick is to... Hey, think eh? you can steal me secrets, do you? All right. Take a gander at this. There now. Catch that, did you? Uh, uh, what trick are you trying to pull, Wallace? Hmm? Take your pigging club and bog off, Wallace. I haven't got time for all your sh shenanigans. Much obliged, Constable. <laughs> Sounds like he said something else. I'm out of here. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> Either that clock's wrong or I am. Hmm. Springs could do with a bit of tensioning. Nonsense. Clock's on thicket time, that's all. That ought to do it. That ought to do it. Tee-hee time, everybody. Time for a joke. It's tee-hee time, everybody. I say, I say, I say. I'm wearing my lucky golf socks today. Lucky golf socks? What the devil are lucky golf socks? The pair with a hole in one. A sock <laughs> with a hole in one! <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> That's serious. Oh, the prickly thicket anthem always brings a tear to me eye. Wait a sec. This clock seems slightly cuckoo. It's fine. Hmm. Now then, I wonder... Crivens! Yes! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, it's the silver it key! Found the key! You are welcome to watch, Wallace, but don't stand in me light. <laughs> oh, this is most discombobulating. Stand back, rookie. Wallace is gonna show you how to play. Righty O'Reilly, this is most irregular. <laughs> oh, oh, the Ganges grip. I told you, Paneer, there's no such. <sighs> By heavens, he's a Jeez, Robert! All in one. <laughs> what? Tea time already? Hmm. Well, be that as it may. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, my good man. Here's something for your efforts. <laughs> I 
I say, that one's a rummin. Aye, that one were Goodman Willis, him and his evil hellhound Gimlet, a pox on the pair of them. It's them for purse in the predicament we're in today. Really? Aye. For when the devilish Duchess Flit were seizing the golf course and planting flowers on it, my poor Grandpa Rory were desperate. He loved his prickly thicket golf course like a wee wifey, but he couldn't save it from Flit's men and their terrible tulip bulbs. So when they snatched the course from him, robbed him, they did. He hid the deeds to the land, hoping one day to reclaim it and restore it to the noble cause of golf. And that were his biggest mistake, hiring them two buffoons to help. You mean Goodman Whitless? Aye, and Gimlet is devil well. Local clockmakers and jacks of all trades they were. Grandpa Rory hired them to build a security system to protect the deed. Well, they built it all right. And made a dashed fine job of it, too. Brilliant. Inspired. Flick's men did their damnedest, but they couldn't disable the system. And nor could anyone else, including Goodman Whitless. Thanks to him, the deeds are still locked away in the walls here somewhere, guarded by his tick-tock state-of-the-art security system. Well, uh, I've done a bit of tinkering myself with security systems. Uh, do you know how this one works? Not a flippin' clue. You need three keys to switch it off, that's all I can. A gold one, a silver one, and a porcelain one. And these keys, uh, where are they to be found? Search me, pal! They're well hid, too! Got security systems of their own, they say! Mm-hmm. I say, that face looks familiar. Gonna see how? Unless you were round about these parts 400 years ago. That there dusty old dowager is Duchess Flit. Our family owned much of the land hereabouts in those days. And that chappy sneaking out the back that were my great, 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 great grandpa, Lord Rory McBiscuit, come down for his holidays and missed the last coach back to Scotland. I do see a slight resemblance. Aye, he were a bonny lad, and a great one with the lassies. The Duchess couldn't get her fill of him, but as you can see, he cared for nubbit mucking about in a golf course. Twas Grandpa Rory who built Prickly Thicket. And uh, what did Duchess Flit have to say about that? Oh, threw her in a right rage it did. Had her men seize the course by force. Aye, and that's when her troubles began. Yeah. Ah, time to tee off. <sighs> no, who am I going to humiliate today? Well, this now is it. Is that the best we can do for a challenger? No. Watch how it's done, laddie. Ha! Did you see that? All in one! Am I a McBiscuit or am I a McBiscuit? Your turn, Wallace. Unless you want to throw in the towel. Pick a club. Okay, I will. It's your turn, so take a shot. You can swing from the laddie's tee right there, or the lassie's tee down there. For you, I'd recommend the lassie's tee. <laughs> All right. Oh! 
<laughs> Your turn. Oh my huh? god. See that? By end, the chairman's missed his shot. No, I never. Yeah, you did. That the rubbish club what missed it. Mm. Well, your turn. Pick a club. Got it. How many strokes you reckon it'll take him to get off the tee? Show us your best, Wallace. Okay, your turn. Mm. He did it again. He missed another shot. Yeah, he did. Um, something's not right. What's going on? All right then. Which club are you going to use? The only one fit for Wallace. Here comes the fiend of the fairway. Gonna swing from the big boys to you this time, are you, Wallace? Yeah. Actually, I. Look, Wallace sunk the ball. No, he never. Uh, it's a trick. He. Uh... Crevens. Golden key. The golden key. The golden key. Cheese. I mean key. Stand aside. Gold key. Gold low. Wallace is the Keyblade Master. Looks like a match. Try it out. The porcelain key that will slide in the porcelain slot. It's the deed. <coughs> hmm. Well, it appears <coughs> to be genuine. So you see, PC Plod, Prickly Thicket has a wee golf course after all. I see. And where is this land exactly? Where? Well, well, if you can't even establish that, gentlemen, I don't see how. Gangway! Gangway! Used to be in reconnaissance, don't you know? Damn hand at topography. Let me see now. Bit of a rise to the north. River bisecting the 11th fairway. Grove of oaks to the west. Interesting. Wait, what? what is it? Naturally, some of the landmarks have disappeared in the intervening years. But if my guess is correct, the 18th green is located precisely on the spot of ground now known as... 62 West Wallaby Street. Well, I'll be. And it's not just my house that's in danger. If Chairman McBiscuit gets his way, the golf course will end up covering most of the... But I'm still jiggered if I understand why you're playing golf through the middle of town. If I win the Chairman's Tournament, I'll be named Chairman of Brickley Thicket, Mrs. Gavily. It's only the club chairman who can call off the wrecking ball. But why is the Chairman's Tournament got to be played here? Well, 
As the deeds show, Mrs. G, we're standing on the side of the original Prickly Thicket golf course. You see, it's all very logical if you stop to think about it. And Chairman McBiscuit sinks his butt, moving him to 20 under par. But let's face it, Pat. You haven't a prayer. Oh, I'm not chucking in the trilby just yet. I've still two holes to play, remember? And I've got one clear advantage. The greatest helper a golfer ever had. Me remote activated auto caddy. Watch this. Uh, 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 here, Gromit. How'd you like to man the controls for a while, huh? <laughs> Get away with ya! Give up new while you're still behind! Have you not been humiliated enough? Not by half. Uh, which way to the next team? Well, let's make things interesting at least. Two holes left to play. The wee short hole starts here, and it ends... Play over there! What a shot! All in luck for Chairman McBiscuit. He's on fire today, ladies and gentlemen. Now he swaggers to the 18th tee. The long hole starts right here. And it ends... <sighs> By a crook of Bobby Dazzler. Clean out of sight. Why, Paneer, where's it going to come down then? Let me see now. The 18th hole... Yes, that would be uh, 62 West Wallaby Street. Oh, yeah. No, you can play the two holes in either order. Play them both at the same time if you like. First man to finish the pair of them wins the tournament. What do you see? I say, uh, uh, that's a very sporting offer. I accept. Right then, afraid I'm got time to hang around here and watch you muff your shorts. I have a victory party to get to. You'd best follow me back to the 18th green, Paneer. You'll not want to miss commentating on my match-winning putt. Hmm. Now then, which hole shall we tackle first? Well, let's do the long one. All right then, the long hole. The long hole. Uh, Wallace. Mm. Oops. Uh, let me try that once more. It'll take a good strong club to get me all the way to West Wallaby Street. Which one to choose? Well. Well, well, well. See how if I remember how to do this. Now, which club to use? Oh, what do you think, lad? And we're back, broadcasting live from the Prickly Thicket Chairman's Tournament here at beautiful 62 West Wallaby Street. If you're just joining us, I'm Mr. Paneer, and I'm here with top-seeded player Duncan McBiscuit. We're on the green of the 18th hole. At least, uh, we think this is the green for the 18th hole. To be honest, we're having a right old to do trying to find the actual hole. Are you positive this is the spot? Well, 
I copied me notes straight for the old deed. Thirteen lengths southwest of the tree, it says. Maybe you're measuring with the wrong club. There's only one official prickly thicket measuring club, and this is it. Uh, yes, this is it, ladies and gentlemen, the thrilling finale to a thrilling contest. Stay tuned and you won't want to miss a moment of the drama. Hmm. Oh, oh listeners, man, yeah, look at this guy's done. Yet. done. Not till the ball goes into the court. Well, Here at the this. end of the 18th hole. We've got the ball, but there is the cop. That's the burning question this up. Mushrooms? Hello. So many people there, in the house. There, my dear. Oh, it's only Gromit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be out of your hair in a minute. Like right now. See you. We wanna boop 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 be ya. Uh... A wrecking ball, they call it. And we can see why. McBiscuit is tearing up the course. Quite literally. I mean, he's actually. Private! Thrilling game, what? Heart hasn't raced like this since the old days back in the trenches. Had some jolly putting contests down there, we did. What the backswing? What follow through? McBiscuit has chosen to use a Weather remains excellent on this tournament day. Clear and warm, no chance of rain. Of course, even if it did rain, we wouldn't. You're not taking this measuring club. Not till I've found the hole and sunk my butt. Ah, me too. Oh, this is a good one. I say, I say, I say. Might surprise you to hear it, but I'm a scratch golfer and all. You? A scratch golfer? That's right. I write down all me good scores and scratch off all the bad ones. And scratch off all the bad ones! Scratch <laughs> off! <laughs> 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 I'll leave you to it, then. Ah, uh, who's in the yard? Oh, I seem to be off my game, lad. I'll fetch me a club and I'll give it another go. Ah, me blistering iron. Oh dear. Here now. 
this would be yours, I presume? Depositing non-postal material in Her Majesty's post box is against the law, I'll have you know. See, it doesn't happen again. Uh, now, which club to use? Oh, Alright, then it won't happen again. Now, let's see what you're going to say. Let's try the bouncing rock. Pity the flag isn't in the post box, eh, Gromit? Mm. To play the ball from where it lies, I reckon. <laughs> yep. Oi, Romy! Hmm? Any sign of the ball yet, lad? You haven't found the ball yet? There it is. Whip it! Wallace's ball! Oh no! This hallway ain't big enough for the both of us! Oh, sir, you can't do that. Disqualified. You didn't see that! And neither did you! See what? Saw him hit the ball. Our champion hesitates. Found the ball, lad! Now! How to get there from here? Hmm. You got this. Oh, whoa! Hey, drop that. Do something from it. Hmm. I forgot about you. Now, which club to use? Oh, what do you think, lad? Good work, lad! Oh, but we're back to square one, I'm afraid. Let's try it now. Another try? All right. Oh. What's this? Oh, come on. Go in there. Go on. Go on, then. Show us some love. Go on. Smashing! He did it, ladies and gentlemen. Wallace has completed the 18th hole of the ancient but rediscovered prickly thicket course. And 
Duncan's still looking for the hole. I'd better go in and tell him. On the other hand, though, does he really need to know? It's no. only going to upset him. I'm sure he'd appreciate the information. Shh, go on. Finish the other hole. Uh, oh, uh, uh, right oh. I'll take the controls now, lad. Now, which club to use? Oh, what do you think, lad? Ah, me blistering iron. Oh dear, that's going to be a tough shot. Yeah, it is. Nothing for it but to take the plunge, eh, lad? Not exactly a picnic in the garden, but at least it's dry down here, eh, Chuck? Uh, now to locate the ball and chip it back out. Shouldn't be too difficult a uh, task. Oh, dear. Not to worry. I know how to fix this. Quite a situation. How's Wallace doing? He's at about... He just... Uh, that's a good question. I'd better check on Wallace. Me listeners won't want to miss anything important. Mushrooms? Stop, you idiot. There, there, my dear. Oh, it's only Gromit. Turn on the radio. <laughs> There he is, and there's no polite way to say this, down in the sewer, flailing about with his clubs in the filth. And they called him the Rookie of the Year. Who would have thought Wallace would end up down there? Yes, eh? It's happened. Just as I said it would. He's finally hit rock bottom. And only I can save him, his angel of mercy. I'm coming, my poor, addle-headed, golfing fool! <laughs> Let's go check on him. Still looking for that hole. Keep looking. It's in there somewhere. Idiot. People sometimes ask me, Mr. Benier, how does a grocer like you get into sports broadcasting? And it's a fa Oh, there you are, Gromit. Well, no luck down here, I'm afraid. If only luck these on pesky the mushrooms hadn't... Wallace! It's Flynn. Oh, so it's true. You finally hit rock bottom. As great Aunt Prudent said you would. It had to happen, I know, but oh, so quickly! No matter, your angel of mercy your has come makes for you. you. I will lift you from this place of degradation back into the light. I'll wipe your burning brow and nurse you back to health. I'll surround you with flowers and music and mushrooms. Out of here! Get me out of here! That was a pretty good oh, scream. Oh, you poor thing, you've had a fright. Everywhere! <laughs> everywhere! Mushrooms! Come up to the flat, love. I'll fix you a nice cup of tea. I'm not sure I know what to make of that, lad. Do you? Not really. But come on, hit the ball. But that's the club with the Ganges crib. 
Yeah, I'll try anything in a pinch. Hmm. That sent it in the right direction, at least. Too bad about gravity. Hmm. I see the problem. I see the problem. I'm reminded of a little joke, which is, what vegetable in the pro... <laughs> what vegetable in the pro... <laughs> uh, now, which clock to use? Uh, oh, what do you think, lad? Same one. It's in the cup, ladies and gents. Marius has stuck his ball. And considering Chairman McBiscuit still hasn't located the 18th hole, I hereby declare Wallace winner of the Chairman's tournament and the new Chairman of Prickly Ticket. Ooh, hooray for Wallace! Ho -ho! You did it, Wallace. It's true, then. Indeed it is. The long reign of Duncan McBiscuit has come to an end. All hail, hail Chairman Wallace! Oh, uh, uh, no need to make a fuss on my account. Oh, but there is, Wallace! Heard the entire game on the wireless! This is a new beginning for Prickly Thicket. I I a long. Era of a piece peace of and goodwill and justice for all. Right, Wallace? Uh, well, uh, that is, uh, yes, uh, I certainly hope so. As Gromit will attest, I've always been very... Gromit! No dogs allowed in the club, lad. You'll have to wait outside. Now, for my first official act as chairman... Three trumpets for all? Uh, no, Major Crum. My first official act will be to tear up old Roaring McBiscuit's deed and to save West Wallaby Street from the bulldozer. Yeah, of course, jolly good. Jolly good. You carry on, Wallace. Where is he? Where is that wee bogan bumpwort? Uh, you mean Chairman Wallace? He's around the corner, tearing up the deed. He can't do that! Oh, but he can. Tournament's over, and he won it fair and square. But you're forgetting about the sudden death round. Sudden death? Aye, the round where I make sure he meets a sudden death. Let oh, me at him. Don't, oh, don't, don't touch him. him. No, 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 for violation of local bylaw number 682, which prohibits the feeding of Polyporus pilus, commonly known as the ball shaped mushroom Toscurus calinensis, or your commoner garden grey squirrel. And as the offence took place on prickly thicket property, I've no choice but to. Knock it up, knock it down, and bury the remains, and we're here to see you do your duty. That's right. Prickly Thicket has caused quite enough trouble. Kindly point me to the chair. Well, it is a time to, to say it. And that's what is not our baby. Who's been talking about with the oscillating fan? It don't oscillate no more. Suppose I'd better join them. Miss anything important, have I? Well, uh, I haven't actually done anything yet. As you can see, we're packed like a pressure cooker full of sardines. And I wanted to discuss our options before... Discuss? Poppycock, are you a waffler or a leader, Wallace? Well, uh, uh, that is, I, uh, 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 uh. Waffler, waffle, leaders are going on. I think he's bad. It's a trap. Everything's under control. I'm sure there's a simple way to deactivate the lock. 
It's a sand trap. Uh, uh, no need to panic. Uh, uh, I have an idea. Uh, uh, but to put it into effect, I'll need to shift over to the window. Uh, hello, Felicity. Duncan? Why'd you do it, Felicity? Why'd you want to throw me over for an umpty like Wallace? I'm not interested in Wallace anymore. I'm not interested in any man who... golfs. I bet I'd have given it up for you, lassie. You would? Aye, from the moment you first brushed me off, I can't you were the one for me. I tried to put my feelings into rhyme, but oh, I'm no good with words. Your eyes are as deep as the murkiest luck. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool Rock. You remember it? Of course I did. Your eyes aren't too shabby either. Help! Robin! Do something! Help! Robin to the rescue! Oh, that? The sands of time are running out! Oh my god! Thanks, lad. Close friends are a fine thing, but that was a bit too close. Well, why people are so keen on country clubs is a mystery to me. Then you meant what you said in there about quitting Prickly Thicket. For you, a little sprig of healing. Uh, just a second, Felicity. I don't oh, think duck. I've been introduced You're to the so strong man. Romantic. Sand bath, most invigorating. Cleans out the pores. Reminds me of the good old days in the Sahara. You know, Constable Dibbins, I hear on Grapevine there may be another, uh, opening at Prickly Thicket. And I've heard a certain grocery shop may be reopening soon, too. <laughs> well, old chum, I'd say Golden Retrieval's first professional investigation has gone rather... <coughs> Wallace, this is rather awkward for me to say. I, I, I mean, I, I know your <laughs> feelings about me. Oh, uh, you do? You see, in the heat of adversity, I've discovered that my heart belongs to another. Oh, uh, right -o. So, please, don't say anything to prolong our agony. I must therefore return this to you. <laughs> Idiot. By oh, heck, lad. That's two close shaves in one afternoon. I don't know about you, but I could murder a copper. Oops. Hang on just a sec. Time for some cheese, me think you from it. What do you fancy, lad? Eat Amor Wensley Day. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That was Wallace and Gromit Grand Adventure. I want to thank you guys who's been following along with me. Of course, of these uh over the course of these four episodes. It's been a uh, 
Well, like the title of the game, it's been a grand adventure. I enjoyed every moment of it. And I hope you guys did too. I love Wallace and Gromit. And um, I hear that they're making a new movie this year. So, I can't wait for it to come out. They haven't even said what it is yet. But it's going to be a Wallace and Gromit movie. So I'm so glad they're still making them. And I'm so excited. And I'm glad to uh, do this series and have it on my channel as document on YouTube. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Most importantly, stay safe. And I'll catch you guys later. All right. Wallace and Gromit! <laughs> I 
I guess you didn't have what it takes.